Hello, my fine feathered friends. I, uh, Songbird here, and I'm sorry I'm running late today. Technical issues. Every time I try to play ASA, I swear. I think it's working now. I think we'll be able to stream ASA. Hoping. Here's hoping. Now let me get my music going. And hey, Gextrix, you're first today. Welcome, Nanashi. Woohoo! <laughs> Watching this while abusing pals. Well, yeah, uh, good for you. Good for you, bud. <laughs> uh, let me get my music going. I let's see where did I move it to on all my screens here. Let's uh, let's start with some synth wave today, and then we'll see from there where we want to go. All right, there we go. Some music, yay! Gem Creative, hello, hello, welcome. Oh, your pal world crashed. Oh, that sucks, Gex. Sorry to hear that. And let me get the volume here going so that it so that I can hear myself think and you guys can hopefully hear the music, but it's not too loud. Let me know how that's sounding. If it's too loud, too quiet, if I'm too loud or too quiet or anything like that, please let me know. Please, please, please let me know. <laughs> I do not want my stream to sound like crap. OK, it's important to me. I want to know. All right. And I think I'll turn it down a bit more in my headphones, though. There we go. All right, and now let's switch to the ASA screen here. It is a little confusing behind the scenes, switching between games. I have to have whole different scenes set up in OBS and stuff. Oh, and speaking of setting up scenes, it looks like I didn't put my camera in the right spot. Just a second here. There we go as things move around on your screen just bear with me here this is a bit of a a lot of technical stuff to learn about streaming that's why i didn't start out with a camera because i knew that there would be enough other stuff to figure out without that okay and there we go i am in my testing server right now so this is a wonderful map for testing mods. It This map is called Simple Flat Map. And well, it's mostly flat. There's some hilly bits around the edges for if you need to test things on uneven terrain. But it's really nice. I'm hoping that this will run better than one of the actual maps because there's no trees to load. There's no dinos to load and, you know, dinos to for, for the game to do, um, to animate as they walk around and poop and eat each other and all the things that they do. Uh, yeah, this map even has a little area for testing water stuff. Got a nice block of water here. <laughs> and yeah, you can tell I've been uh, doing a little bit of testing. So uh, yeah, I'll let me show you around a little bit here. I am obviously in creative mode. But uh, this mod, this one's a little bit crazy i was checking out some foreign language mods so this is a mod called chinese architecture there are a few with very similar names but if you are searching for them is chinese architecture and then this was the one with the most downloads i think it was thirteen thousand downloads something like that so yeah it's kind of funny because it's a little bit like gambling uh because yeah the mod is pretty much in chinese there's not some of them have kind of english labels but they're not always accurate um but it's fun to play around with this is the kind of mod personally where i would just play with it you know i might use it for an on an events map I don't think I would put it on a map where people were seriously trying to play the game. It's not really balanced very well for that. But just for playing around with, it's a lot of fun. These buildings here, I did not build these. These are all prefabs. These are massive. Well, this I built. I was popping out building pieces to have a look at them. Um, so yeah, the messy one I built. But yeah, these things, look at that. This is a prefab. This is all one big prefab um 
which uh, Aaron Longstaff commented on Twitter or something the other day about prefabs and you know why would anybody use a mod with prefabs and then you you know when you can build your own stuff well th the thing is there are drawbacks to prefabs like this hey Mikey hello hello yeah well I uh, it's three eastern time the time zone thing is confusing so I said noon pacific time three eastern time but I could see where it'd be very easy to get those switched around in your mind uh, and I was late anyway <laughs> but uh but yeah the the drawback of using a prefab for a serious base is the fact that uh this this entire structure has 6250 health so uh yeah it, it, one stray uh rocket a bunch of c4 or even just an alpha raptor or something and your entire base could go poof and you don't want that so that is the risky run with prefabs because yeah it's not just going to destroy one foundation it's going to destroy the entire structure and everything in it if you're lucky they might drop in bags but then you'll have a lot of bags to run around and collect but I mean, there's enough prefabs here for an entire city. The crazy thing is here, let me go back to where I've got a vault with pieces in it. Uh, the crazy thing is if you look at the actual mod items, it looks like there's only three prefabs. There's this one, this one, and there was one other one I got. I think these ones actually show up in the Ingrams list. Not all of the mod items do. It was under structures. Okay, so it is just those two. And then uh, this one has some smaller prefabs. So it looks like there's just those two. But then when you actually go to it. Yeah, look at the size of that. There's seven different options for this one, which are all completely different and this uh this other one here give it a second 22 different variants that are all completely different and i was saying that this mod is not very well balanced for actual gameplay and the reason why i say that is all of these crazy structures in order to craft them if you were going to craft them legit three wood three wood to make a gigantic pagoda or palace or whatever so yeah but you know where i think that a mod like this could be super useful would be for some kind of an event like if you were going to do a treasure hunt or if you were going to do like some kind of a pvp event and you just wanted structures for people to hide in or hide behind some of them are not fully finished inside and once you get inside they look a little bit like they're made out of folded paper uh, most of them are pretty good though uh, but yeah i mean once red dwarf finishes the uh paintball mod for asa wouldn't it be fun to have like an ancient chinese city to run around in and play paintball oh my gosh it could be really really fun oh just a second here what is oh there we go so yeah these things are huge a lot of them have multiple stories and yeah so very fun little mod and then besides all of those it also has de decor pieces and crafting stations and like a ton of stuff this is a this is a hefty mod though i wouldn't that's part of why i was saying i'd use it on a on an event server probably this mod is three gigabytes that's pretty huge for a mod that you wouldn't actually be using another option if somebody really did want to have like a chinese themed chinese architecture themed server uh, here's some of the statuary from the mod too uh is you could block the engrams so that players couldn't craft them at all there's ways of doing that and then you could make these be things that either people can get in drops or you know that people could buy in an admin shop for tokens or something like that and that that would help with the balance issue 
But uh, because of the language barrier and because of the fact that there's not a whole lot about the mod on the mod page, probably because of the language barrier, to be honest, I wouldn't necessarily have a lot of faith that this mod wouldn't be abandoned. It quite likely might be. On an event server, eh, it'll be fine. And if a mod is abandoned, that doesn't mean it immediately quits working or anything like that. It just means nothing new is going to be added. And then whether it keeps working or not is really up to Wildcard. If Wildcard releases an update that breaks the mods, then nobody's going to fix it. And so you might have items that don't work after that. But check out the food here. It's it actually steams because it's basically a reskin of a campfire that doesn't need fuel. And so you can uh, you can light the fire and then it steams. And I just think that's such a cool little touch. You've got a, a bow uh, a dumpling steamer here and a bowl of congee. Kanji, I think. I don't know how you pronounce it, but yeah, the rice porridge, all these different things. All all of these different uh, tables and furniture, I think this is actually a bed. I know in ancient China, they used brick beds with a felt pad on top because they would put like a small fire inside in order to keep them warm at night. Uh, I think that's so I think that's I mean, you can use it as a table. You can't use it as a bed, but I think that might be what it is. Anyway, all of these were variants of one table that I crafted in the crafting bench, which the crafting bench for this mod is this little guy here, this cute little desk. So the majority of the engrams are in here. And for each thing, there are a ton of variations. So super, super fun mod to play with. And OK, check this out. This I thought this was absolutely hilarious. So down here, this serving plate and the only tag in English is it says it's a generic consumable. That's helpful. Uh, but yeah, I think I don't know if they've been moving files around or what they've been doing with this mod. But yeah, so that looks like a plate of food, right? Uh, let's actually go back to the beginning there. Looks like a plate of food, but you place... Oh, uh, did he fix it? Because it wasn't doing this before. Okay, now it's going to behave. Before, it was popping out random prefabs and stuff when I would place them. But now, it's not doing that. It might have been a bug that I was having then. That's kind of hilarious. It's fixed now. Gonna make a liar out of me. But last night, like these two beds over here, these were some of the things that popped out when I placed what I thought was food. And so initially that was on top of a table over there. And so I had to pick it up and move it. And these statues as well came out when I thought I was placing food. So it's funny. This is one of the reasons why I like testing mods, honestly, is because it's so random. You don't know what you're going to get. Hey, Zant. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Uh, Steffels, Artie Gamer. Welcome. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm so sorry. I was getting behind in the chat, getting caught up in showing you around this craziness that's over here. <laughs> uh, let me see what I've been missing out. Uh, how how many gray names do we I what oh people <laughs> people who are not channel members okay that's what you mean okay well all of the gray names are very welcome we like the gray names in the chat we do that means the channel is growing that means YouTube is suggesting it to people who aren't channel members and that's a very good thing so all of the people with gray names in the chat are very welcome and paintball match would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? In a big city like that. Lots of places to hide. Lots of walls to hide behind and stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, okay. Mikey's giving you all a warning. Everyone who does not have their profiles set to accept gifts will have five minutes to fix for a chance to get a free membership. 
Well, thank you, Mikey. That's very generous of you. So, uh, y'all, if you if you want to do that to make sure to set set up your profile so that you can accept gifts, then you might get lucky when Mikey starts uh, gets out his wallet, I guess. Um, and then these here, these are pretty cool. I actually popped those these out in here though. Let me go see where I already popped them out these smaller prefabs it's basically an entire market it's a it's a bazaar uh so yeah there's this there's a little tea stand here here i'm gonna go into first person so you can see them better and let's get rid of the hud there so you got a tea stand with a little the little crepes little egg crepes and got an, another little tea stand maybe this one isn't this one's a pancake stand and i think those are donuts yeah Okay, so pancakes and donuts. This one is selling tea. We've got a mask booth here with all these cool masks and vegetable booth. And this one apparently is an artist booth where they'll ink calligraphy for you. Little doll seller. All of these little things are just so cool. And they would be really fun to hide behind and shoot paintball <laughs> darts at people. And this one here looks like it has sweets and desserts and a lanterns booth. And I, is, are these the same one or are these part of the same one or are these different ones? Oh, that's, it's all the same one. Okay. Um, let's get my HUD back so I can put it back down. All right. And they will even snap. Okay, let's get back to that one. I think I went past it ah, and I went past it again. There's 10 different ones in here. There we go. And then E to rotate there. Alrighty. And we've got a fruit seller and then a meat seller selling roasted ducks and such things. So yeah. All of this, I mean, there's a whole nother row of buildings back here. So many different kinds of buildings. It's kind of insane. Like if you needed temporary bases on like an event server, these would be great as temporary bases. If you wanted people to just be able to plunk a few beds down and then go do whatever your event is. But uh, I'm just going to walk past all of these once. There's just too many for me to show you inside all of them. I think I might make a video on this mod and just kind of show them off a little bit more in detail. Let you take a look. Uh, hey, Snow Griffin and Kova Silvermane. Uh, when you... And yes, you are very wanted, Gem Creative. You are very welcome here. Uh, yes, I agree. I like having separate building pieces to build things myself. Prefabs have their uses, though. And so I just wanted to point out some of the uses, even for those of us who like building ourselves, because, you know, building a big city like this would take friggin' forever. So if you were just going to do an event or something you might want to yeah you might want something a little quicker but yeah this is all separate building pieces here and i'm gonna pop them out again and play around with them a bit there is there is a found is this i think this is a ceiling actually that looks like grass there's also one that looks like water look at that look at that like how how fun is that but it's it's a ceiling. I mean, it's not real water, but it just looks like water. That's kind of fun. And there's this one with an ornate dragon design. A bunch of different really cool patterns for ceilings and foundations and walls and stuff. Here's the triangles. There aren't as many options for the triangles. There's just orange plaster and white plaster. They also have those in walls. There's a lot of different door frames with doors that are really cool. And all of 
these. Um, these are actually, these are not very well balanced, but in the other direction. Each of these pieces is 10,000. Okay, the walls here are 5,000 health. These gates are 10,000 health. 10,000 health, foundation, 15,000 health. And I, I don't know what tier they count as. If they count as metal tier or stone tier, I have no idea. Uh, this the, the short little half wall here is 5,000 health. I really like this bamboo one as well. This bamboo wall is pretty cool. There's also all of these different brick and stone textures. They don't really look to me like real brick and stone, though. They almost remind me a little bit of like the brick and stone looking wallpapers or something. But still, you know, fun to have options. And I, you know what I really love is I love, I love these railings. Look at these railings. These are so cool. And they do go at different angles as well. So they'll, you can put them like along stairs or whatever too. And there's also this fancy half wall. So I'm going to have to try to make at least something small just to test out the pieces and kind of how they interact with each other. But I want to pop out some other building mods as well and show you around those and then maybe try combining them and see what we come up with. Combine some different building mods. Yeah, isn't that cool? A water block to make your own little decorative swimming pools or ponds or whatever. Absolutely. You could even make a ceiling swimming pool that you can then have a base underneath it. Okay, now let me put these back in this vault and get these. Uh, there's the other pieces. There's also the statues variants there. There's also all these cool roofs that I didn't get a chance to check out last time I was on. So let me get those. Oh, and this bed is friggin' gorgeous. You gotta see this bed. Okay. I think that's most of the building pieces, but let's grab the, the walls. I think there actually was an update to this to, um, fairly recently. So I believe the modder is still working on it. So that is a good sign. There's also large ceilings. This here, this five by five, this is one ceiling. This is one of the large ceilings. And for some reason, the large ones can't be flipped over to, sh um, which would be fun if you could, because this has that ornate dragon design on it, but only on the underside. Okay, let's, oh, I was going to show you this bed. Check this out. This is so pretty. Look at this. Look at this. And it actually functions as a bed in game. Like it doesn't have any collision, but then neither do the in game regular beds, but you can lay on it and you can fast travel in it. It is just, it's just so many little cool things. But with a mod like this, I just kind of take it as it is. Like, don't download something like this, assuming or hoping that the modder is going to add to it or fix things, whatever. Just take it at face value. Whatever works, use it. Whatever doesn't work, just don't use it. It just is what it is. Because, I, you know, it's recently kind of come to my attention that a lot of people really don't understand... Um, a lot about modders. There was a there was a guy in a comment section who was telling people that modders get paid per download. That's not true. Okay, the vast, vast, vast majority of modders don't get paid a red cent. In fact, they it costs them money. Modding is a time consuming and expensive hobby for them. A lot of these models like this, they actually buy these in 3D uh, asset marketplaces. They don't make them themselves. And then also, of course, getting a good enough computer to do modding and all of that. It costs them a lot of money. The only ones who actually make any money are if they um, 
if they have a premium mod, and right now there's only two premium mods. There's Gaia Potions and there's a Svartalheim Premium. Those are the only two. Other than that, if somebody sponsors a mod, pays a modder specifically to make a special mod just for them, then the modder... Ooh. Mikey, <laughs> making me jump again. Aw, thank you very much for gifting five memberships. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Kova Silvermane and Super Dooms Armada and Shady Knight and Gecko 617 and Mimic and Michael H. Welcome, welcome. Make sure that your uh, Discord account is connected to your YouTube account so that the Discord will recognize you as a YouTube member and give you the special role that lets you see the members. Uh, I used to call it the members clubhouse and then I realized what a missed opportunity that was. So I changed the name to the birdhouse. So <laughs> you could have access to the birdhouse area, which is for members only and also includes information on my um, player servers. Right now I have one ASA server and I have a pal world server. These things are Easy though. Okay. Uh, find an open spot here. Um, so, yeah, the only premium mods do they get paid per download. Um, even if somebody sponsors a mod, that's a one time thing. Like they pay the modder 100 bucks or something like that to make them a specific mod that they want to use on their own server community or something like that. Some people do that or they might become a Patreon of a modder, but they aren't paid per download in either of those situations. Okay, this pillar is not quite working. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, it was working fine last time I tried it, so I don't know what's going on with that. Let's pop out some foundations so that we can get some walls up and some roofs. Here, let's alternate there's two colors for the foundations it's got this darker color and this lighter color both of which are really pretty like a checkerboard floor here uh, let's see a little bigger you're messing up my pattern here don't do that hey Pick up, thank you. Okay. And there we go. So anyway, even if this mod disappears tomorrow and is no longer available, I'll still be glad that I got a chance to play with it, you know? It's just, it's just fun. It's just different toys for your sandbox. Your server is your own personal sandbox and you get to choose what kind of toys you put in it. All right, there we go. And then let's pop out some walls so we can check out the roofs. All right, so I'm, there's just so many wall variants. So there's that brick one. And then we got this brick and we got a polished wood. The polished wood one looks really nice. Like I could see that being a good one for paneling or something inside. And then there's the bamboo, which would be really fun for like a rustic base or like a dino pan or something. It actually has a lot of health. It has like 10,000 health. So putting that on fence foundations around a dino pen would be really fun, I think. And then we've got polished wood half wall, another version of brick, a brick half wall, a plaster half wall, and then back to the start. So those are the wall variants. There is also this here, the sloped walls here are in the orange or the white plaster. And also, let's see, this is a, another batch of walls on this one that I've got over in the nine slot. I think 
I think this is the height, possibly. I think this is the height of the original ASE walls. It's about a two thirds wall, looks like. So there's also the slopes. Yeah, okay, this just has those two options right now. Thought there were some more options last time I looked at it, but I could be mistaken. All right. Let's use the polished wood, I think. Oh, wait, no, there's also door frames. That's what I was missing. There's also door frames, and I think there might also be window walls that are separate. So let me go grab some of those. We've got a bunch of different resources in here so I can craft these. Since these don't show up in the creative menu, um, since the engrams live in the crafting table. Ooh, flower trees. Okay, I gotta get that too. And that. And lotus. I gotta get that too. Just has to be done. And a bridge. Now stairs, although it's labeled ladder. Oh my gosh, there's a boat? Okay, we're gonna have to test out the boats too. Sailboat. A there's it calls it a stone compass. I'm guessing that's a sundial. My gosh. Oh, no worry. <laughs> no worries, Mikey. Uh, yep, I know that most people watch streams while they're doing other stuff. It's all good. I do the exact same. So, yeah, you get your work done. It's all good. Oh, Eve. Let's see what that is. So one of the things I actually kind of like about most of the engrams being here in the crafting table is that if these were all mixed into this crafting menu, there's a few that are in here, but not very many. Um, if they were all in here, the fact that they're not labeled very well, because they, I mean, they may have used Google Translate to get the English labels or something, I don't know. Uh, anyway, it would be a little harder to find things. But the fact that you can browse through everything available here in the in the crafting bench is uh, really helps. That's a cool looking gate. Ooh, another gateway. All of the fun things, columns. And here is it just it's just labeled structure, but I think it looks like a wall. Screen. We will pop them out and have a look. And a floor lamp. Tent. Great city gate. That sounds like fun. City wall. Water tank. Oh, draw. It's just labeled draw. But it, and it, it looks like it's a reskin of a ceiling, judging from the tooltip. But it looks like it's actually wall art. Battle drum. Tomb. Oh my gosh, there's 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 a reason why this mod is three gigs. There there is a heckin' lot of stuff in here, and I have been uh, educated by my modder friends. I am not a modder. I have I am not a coder at all. I am just a mod fancier. I enjoy mods. Um, oh, I need to get them out of the crafting table. Uh but the thing that that makes mods larger, the thing that takes up so much space and makes them three gigs instead of, you know, three megabytes is mostly custom meshes like textures and models. Because obviously the, the base game doesn't have these textures. It doesn't have these shapes in it. And so adding those is what takes a lot of space. Mods that just take things that are already in the base game and change them. Like, you know, there's a lot of different mods that that um, improve the storage situation, for example. There might be smaller vaults that have twice as many slots or something like that. Those mods will be tiny. They might not even be one full megabyte. Some of them are kilobytes in size. They are teensy little things, and it's because they don't have to add any custom meshes or models. So decor mods, building mods, 
mods that add custom unique dino models and costume and custom armor mods all of those kind of ones tend to be the largest ones and so you want to be careful not to have too many really big mods you absolutely use them i mean they're awesome i'm not saying not to use big mods but you kind of have to budget for them you have to be aware of the fact that they're bigger and um usually i try i try to choose those first okay can i place it here let's see i might have to place a floating foundation or something first yeah it's not letting me what about if i stand in front of it over here It's so weird that you can just walk through and swim and then walk out and run. <laughs> um, nope, it's not recognizing the water here. So let me try. Let me put a vanilla raft on the surface and then I might be able to do it. I wasn't aware of this. This must be from one of the other mods that I added. I really wish that modders would label the engrams with like a code for their mod name. Like ASR does that. It's got a little ASR on all the engrams so I know which mod that's from. This one, I've got 17 mods on this server. I don't know which one this is from, but let's give it a try. See if I can place this. It's not, it's not thinking I'm actually in water. Okay, there. I'm up to my knees in water. Is that good? No, because of the fact that I'm flying, probably. Okay, does this count as foundation? Look at, uh, it looks like this kind of counts as ground. There. And then... Let's make stairs down to the water and then we'll see if it'll cooperate with us. There. Now I am standing and I am next to water. Will you place now? Oh boy. Yes, it did place. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I appear to be inside it. Um. Do I have to ghost out or is there a door that opens? This might also be something that is only useful for events. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. We'll have to ghost out of it. Wow, look at that. That is insane. Oh, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Be fun to have some boat races, right? Um, I put together an event for the architects back when I was working with them uh, during the Extra Life event from 2022 with Aaron Longstaff and Ras Clark as guests. And the final event was a ship battle since it kind of had a viking theme so and there was a prefab viking ship in the eco vikings mod and so they each had a certain number of ships and then they had to shoot rocket launchers at each other and try to shoot sink each other's ships it was super fun because they only it only took took three direct hits from a rocket launcher to sink those i don't know this doesn't say how much health this has so no idea we might have to give it a try later try shooting rocket launchers at them and see what happens okay here let's place that raft so we can use it to go more into the middle of this area um can i move does this raft not work uh it doesn't seem like this raft works okay then Right. 
Let's try a base game round. There we go. Okay, now this one lets us move. Now we can move more towards the middle and maybe not end up with the ship hanging over the edge. Okay, so there's this little one. Come on, can we place it? Am I not close enough to the water? I'm literally like right next to the water. Hmm. Let's try back over here. Oh yeah, now they're lit up. They're not grayed out anymore. Okay, well, it doesn't like you standing on another boat. Oh, this one's cute. Look at that. It's like a little boat that you'd use for, like, for nobles to cruise along the river, maybe. Or maybe for somebody to have, like, a floating little booth where they were selling things. So cute. Oh, look at my character, though. <laughs> Jeez, that's funny. Alrighty, and then there is a third boat. Let's pop that one out as well and take a look. Oh geez, another big one. <laughs> wow. This one might be even bigger than the first one. It would be fun to have like a boat race or something. The nice thing about prefab boats like this, even though I know Super Doom would be scandalized because he likes to build ships. But the nice thing about these is you can shoot rocket launchers or cannons at them without feeling bad because somebody didn't, you know, you didn't spend hours and hours making it first. So they can be fun for events. <laughs> Um, I am not streaming from the dev kit. Hey, uh, Bad Banana. Sorry, took a minute to read your the font there. Bad Banana, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is actually a map that's called uh, Simple Flat Map. It is a mod map, and I really like it for testing stuff out. It is a tiny little map since obviously there's no dinos that spawn, there's no trees, no plants, no rocks. There, it, there's not even a day-night cycle. It just, it stays a consistent amount of light all the time, which is really nice for testing stuff. So they probably used very close to the basic map that the dev kit uses, but um, they made it a little bit better, I think, for for most user users who want to test building techniques or test stuff out. Because it's all flat in the middle, it's got this one water area, and then there's hills around the sides if you want to test some stuff that needs uneven terrain. Alright, I'm going to get out a rocket launcher, because I can. Hey, Rustic Rock found... That must be new, that wasn't in the K Rustic mod last time I used it. Cool. All right, let's see how many hits it takes to sink these. I don't know if I'll be able to since I'm the owner of them. I might not be able to. Oh, nope, it does. And three hits just like the eco ones, only these ones just disappear instantly. Like, look, the vanilla raft is still down there. The eco ships would sink and then stay at the bottom for a little while, which was kind of fun. These ones apparently immediately disappear. Okay, one. Two. Three. Is this one stronger than the big one? Four. Okay, it just takes four. I think maybe the other one took four as well. Let's see. Oh, there's four. Is it because it's kind of at the edge or something? 
Hi. This one's stronger? Six here. Let's try moving it more towards the middle. Oh, it is pretty damaged. Yeah, it's if you look at the health bar that it has, probably just one more hit. Yep. So that one's just got a little more health. It took like six rockets or something to destroy it. And just for comparison's sake, let's see how many it takes to destroy a raft. Yep. Okay. Well, that's fun. There's another mod I was checking out the other day. I'm excited to show you guys that one a little bit later. That one is one that I, I definitely think could be easily used on servers. This one just for event servers. That one, I think you probably could use it on a regular player server or in your single player it does feel a lot more balanced but i will be going over there and showing you that one a little bit later for now i wanted to check out the roof pieces and some of these other building bits and bobs okay so we already checked out that wall there's the stairs. Let's just drop these. Roof. I kind of want to check out these decorative things first, though. Okay, let's get that out of the way, and then I'll get back to the building pieces. Just want to see what these look like. All right. Okay. <laughs> so tempting to type out grid coordinates, oh, like to pl playing battleships. That that could be kind of fun too. You know, if you had a battleships game, uh, like that in Ark, put people on opposite sides of the map or something, <laughs> so that they can't see each other's positions. All right, we've got. Let's move this a little closer in, keeping all of the Chinese architecture pieces in the same area. Ooh, nice little hot tub. Sit on. Let's sit in there. Warm yourself up after a grueling day hunting Udys out in the snow. <laughs> and wait, are there variants on this one? No. Okay. This guy here, let's go put it inside one of the buildings because why not all right we've got got like a bookshelf or something and then oh geez this is huge like a fabric seller's stock wall gosh look at that and it does, it has an inventory with 800 slots. Nice. How about this guy? Also 800 slots. That's pretty decent. Let's see what other variants we've got in here. Oh, cute little bookshelf. Or cabinet. This actually looks like a little chicken coop or something. Or it might just be for keeping things that you want to keep behind little bars. And got a little a little chest. And stop snapping. Nope, stop snapping. Doesn't. Okay. Uh, can I, how do I turn off snapping? really giving me an option to turn off snap. All right, we'll put you over here then. Oh, this looks like it'd be nice in a bathroom or something, maybe. It's got a towel on the top of it, or maybe next to that hot tub. Ooh, this one's cool. 
This actually reminds me of something I think my grandma had in her house. Funny story, my grandmother was actually born in China. Well, she's not my genetic grandmother. She was my mom's stepmother, but she was my grandma for my whole life. And she was, uh, I, I didn't even know about this until I started doing some family history research, research, but there is a whole Russian population that uh, moved to China to the other end of the railroad that ran between Russia and China, like went from Moscow to at least Northern China. And uh, there was a Russian settlement at the other end, a place called Harbin. And it became a whole thing, the Harbin Russians. And then during the Bolshevik revolution, a lot of the so-called white Russians fled there. They're called white, not because of any skin color thing. It was white as opposed to red. The red Russians were the ones who supported the communists. The white Russians were the ones who supported the czar. So the czarist loyalists, a lot of them fled along the railway to Harbin and established themselves there. So yeah, my grandma was born there and then barely escaped along with her mother before the Japanese invaded at the, at, at close to the start of World War II. It's quite a story. Someday I want to make a video about it, but take a lot of research first. Look at this. It just keeps going and going. There is so much stuff in this mod. It's kind of insane. Should have picked a bigger building to display these. 17 different shelf variants. 17. Uh, is there a nice little corner we could stick this in in here? Wow. And more. And a little shelf of clay pots. It is cool that they snap together. You could have a few of them. Do these have 800 slots too? No, I'm not trying to place it. Access it. There we go. Yep, 800 slots. Probably really cheap to craft as well. Mm. I'd have to look at it in the crafting bench. It doesn't show me here how much it costs. Anyway, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that would be nice. Um, on one of the shelves and stuff. A baby, yeah, it did kind of look like a baby changing table. I could definitely see that too for that little, little thingy. I I've seen like sideboards and different tables that had those though, and I, and I think at least the ones that I've seen. The rail was there, like, to prevent things from getting knocked onto the floor or something, maybe? Like, people, at least my grandma, would put figurines or dishes or something on there. Ooh. This looks like a spice cellar booth or something. Alright, and then back, that was all 17. Sheesh! Lots of fun options for sure. With all of this, I mean, if you wanted to have a special event like, you know, like I was saying, paintball or some kind of a treasure hunt or, I don't know, hide and seek or something, some kind of event, you could set up an entire ancient Chinese city in a weekend. I know, crazy. And then we got trees. Okay, I gotta, I gotta see the trees. I like plants. Put a nice tree over the hot tub here. I'm trying to keep it far enough away that it won't clip into the building. Ooh, that's so pretty. And here's another cherry tree. Oh, look at that. That is just so nicely sculpted. That's sculptural. I like, 
I like the interesting shape of it. A more organic looking shape. The, the petals are kind of doing strange things though. You know what that looks like actually? Um, Nikatis, the modder who made Svartalheim, he posted a really funny little video clip on uh, Twitter the other day showing what the recent arc patch did to one of his textures. His redwood trees looked like noodle trees or something. They were like psychedelic and flowing. It looked a lot like this. So I bet the recent patch broke this texture a little bit. Whoa, that is trippy looking though. Yeah, happens all the time though. Um, yeah, wild card changes some some kind of base file that mods may use um, that they may be based on, and then yeah, it breaks all the mods, and they have to go back and fix them, and they can't even start trying to fix them until wild card updates the dev kit. So yeah, just know that if the mods break, it's not the modder's fault the vast majority of the time. It is Wildcard's fault, and that is the reason why they have to keep coming back and updating things. I mean, it's not like coding goes bad, right? Like, it doesn't have an expiration date on it. The only reason why they need to be kept updated is because Wildcard keeps changing the code. But these they are super cool looking, even if it almost looks like a painting or something. Almost makes me a little dizzy, to be honest. <laughs> oh geez <laughs> that is a lot of shells hey amanda jones welcome welcome hello ah <laughs> that is cute mikey okay and let's see here we got these oh geez lots more of these too let's Oh, these textures went all wonky, too. Look at that. That is so strange. Twenty-four. Oh, this is these are mortar and pestles. That okay, that's kind of fun. It's kind of too bad about the texture having been broken, but maybe they'll get around to fixing that. Some bonsai. A smaller scale of these smaller pots, you really see the blurriness of the flower textures and leaf textures. Because on the big things like that, you don't notice really unless you stop and look at it. But like you could just walk past and not even notice that anything was strange about it. And then you stop and look at it and it's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what was in that cookie? No, whatever. <laughs> that is just bizarre. Okay, now did the did these textures get broken too? Let's see. Inquiring minds want to know. Oh my gosh, look at that. It drops a bunch of things. Doesn't look like it's as broken. This one looks a lot more normal. Let's see, I think these are all, they look like they all might be variants of weeping willow trees, which I love weeping willow trees. When I was a kid, there was a weeping willow tree in our local park that was my, my little hideout. I had special way of getting up into the branches that the other kids didn't know about and so i'd go up in there and read books and nobody would bother me it was wonderful that's interesting how they all like shed flakes on the ground when you first place them they've got like tree dandruff There's a little bit of wonkiness 
some of the leaf textures, but it seems like with these, it's mostly when you're a little ways away. Like I can really see it in this one. Can you guys see that? Then if you get up close enough to look at the individual leaves, they look fine. That is so funny. But yeah, it looks like brush strokes in motion or something from back here. Like a Van Gogh painting or something. Interesting. Okay, and we got our drum. Jeez, I thought this was going to be a quick little thing. I didn't know that there was going to be so many variants of every single thing. Gong. Okay, just four for that one. Oh, look at that! Just, this is a reskin of the war drums from the base game, that so you could actually play it. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Be nice if they could change up the sound a little bit, like make this one sound like bells. Okay, and then we've got this said it was a screen. Yeah, it looks like it is freestanding, not a wall. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. A peacock feather decoration. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, my grandma had a screen like this, like that. Oh, the painting on it is gorgeous. And this is supposed to be a tomb? Turn on. Oh, I bet this is like... I bet they uh, cremated the bodies or something. Maybe that's like a crematorium thing. Are there any variants? There are. There are a lot of variants. Oh, no, there's only four, and I'm going through them a second time. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yep, they all turn on, and they smoke. Huh. Oh, and here's the city gate. We gotta take a look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at the size of this thing. This is insane. Wow. That is huge. And what's what are these other okay, we've got a little oh does that oh does that fit in here? It does. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. Clips in a little bit, but that's so cool that they added a custom sound to that, too. Okay, and this... What is this? Is this for the other end or something? I think this might be a different option. Let's try... Placing another one of these. And then... And then I promise I'll look at the building pieces and stop getting distracted with all of this. Okay, so yeah, you can place this here. Okay, for if you don't want it to have a gate that can be closed, I guess. Huh. Very cool. All right, now let's get back to this stuff. Uh, let's throw some of this or in a box.
Oh, we've got another gateway though. You know, we need to look at that. <laughs> yeah, right? That's an entrance. Yeah. Uh, yes, I, I, I do the same thing, Gem Creative. Always look for pretty a pretty tree or trees to and build around those. Yeah, I really love incorporating nature in my builds. In the recent build that I did in Enshrouded, that I entered in their contest, but I mean, I finished it so last minute, I don't think that they even saw it, even though I did enter get it in there before the deadline. Less than an hour before the deadline, but I did get it in before the deadline. But anyway, um, I actually built a tree in Enshrouded, and that was super fun. I am. Um, the way their building system works. Okay, this bridge. I've got to see the bridge. This bridge looks gorgeous. It needs a snap point. What is it? What does it snap to? Foundation, maybe? Yep, my foundation. Oh, come on. Can I back up enough to have a proper look? There we go. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. And it needs foundations to snap to. Let's, right, let's see what there, there was. Oh my gosh. Eight different bridges. Eight. Eight. I think this person, whoever made this, has um, as much difficulty choosing as I tend to. That's a big one. Jeez. That's like a full on thoroughfare. I really am curious if the modder who made this modeled all of these themselves or if they got them on a digital 3D marketplace. Because they do look fairly consistent in the art style and like the resolution and stuff like that. Which makes me think that they might be all by the same artist, but it might not be the same artist who made the mod. But either way, that's pretty impressive that they imported them into Ark. Oh, this one floats <laughs> and got them to work in here. Okay, so apparently that one can be placed in midair if you want to. Good to know. Uh, oh, jeez. I guess this is what you get when you start experimenting with all of the stuff that's available in foreign language mods. strategy welcome welcome i am doing great i um aaron longstaff was going to be on my stream today but unfortunately he was having some technical issues and was kind of burned out by all of the crashing and so he he needed to take a night off of playing arc um, but he took a rain check will He'll be on one of my streams another time. To be honest, um, this probably wouldn't have been a great mod to test out with him anyway, because I think he might be a little overwhelmed by, by all the choices. This one is pretty cool. I like this. It It's kind of crazy how it disappears into the water or terrain and then comes back up again. Huh. Okay, okay, back to building pieces. It's just there's so many fun toys to play with. I want to play with all the toys. 
Okay. Where was I even building? Ah, there. Over here. the rest of the decorations i'm sure they're amazing but i want to look at building pieces carpets too Ooh. Alrighty. Ooh. wouldn't that be cool if that was between two trees yeah those Bridges are just fabulous. All right, now we've got door frames here. And I love the fact that there's so many different two by two door frames. Because that's like my favorite size for, you know, for a big build. To make a really impressive looking doorway. But it, it's so annoying sometimes that there aren't any that size in the base game. But this mod has a bunch of different two by two door frames. Okay, and back to the beginning. Okay. And then this guy here, this is the gate, right? Okay. Um, are you not going to cooperate? Window door. So, yeah supposed to be a door but it might be broken that's okay all right i was having an issue with a, one or two things like this last time let me try dropping that and i might try making another one and see if that works and i already did look at that Oh, whoa. What? What? What is this? Okay. This, it looked like a, a... Oh, this is the city wall. I thought it was just going to be like a tall wall. This, this is um, huge. Holy hugeness. Uh, but it needs a snap point. It doesn't seem like a wall this big should need a foundation, but let's, let's see if that's what it's needing. Yep. Look at that. Oh my. Oh, and I'm flying inside things. That is huge. 10,000 health to it. So, yeah, if you're doing an event, that would be fun. It'd make a great wall of China across the arc. Wow. Okay. Back over here. Let's And then what is this one? Uh, oh, I made my game freeze for just a second. Oh, okay. So that's like a fancy railing of some kind. Ooh, I likey. I likey. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that gorgeous? Hey, Super Doom! Hello, hello! And Controller Freak! Jeez, the old gang's all here. Hey, guys. Oh. <clears throat> I was just talking about you earlier, Super Doom. Your ears might have been burning. This crazy um, Chinese architecture mod actually has some prefab boats in it. Uh, and I popped them out to have a look at them. And then shot them with rocket launchers until they sank. It was pretty fun. But that's the benefit of a prefab boat, you know. If I sunk one of your boats with a rocket launcher, I would feel terrible about it. I don't feel terrible if it's a prefab. Okay, this. Oh, this, this one is doors, okay. Where do you fit? Oh, you, you just... Okay, you can just be freestanding doors. You don't just snap anywhere in particular. You just, but you do need to be on a foundation. 
Okay, that's an interesting development. You can be anywhere on a foundation. And it makes custom sounds too. Cool. Uh, no variants to that one. Okay. And then this. This is a double tall wall from the looks of it. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Got a cool design. Well, this one has a window. Will you go? Oh, you will go up here. You will not go just on top of one half wall, though. That's interesting. Oh, oh, yeah, it won't go on top of just, of that one. Huh. What about this one? It, okay, this one will. So this one is a two wide, but half a wall tall. There's a lot of different options. Huh. And then here's another half wall. Uh, oh, this one is also too wide from the looks of things. Let's pop you up here. Looks like it's got a mustache on it. Running out of space here. I thought this foundation would give me plenty of... All these foundations would give me plenty of room. Should have known better. Ooh, there, there's a nice simple one. It looks like this will go also in a variety of different gateways and door frames. <sighs> was that all of the different walls? I think that was all of them. Except for this one, which is railings. Well, let's get our stairs out so we can have a look at the railings. Let's make this a little bit higher first. This is how crazy structures like what was on the thumbnail <laughs> for this stream. Um, yeah, that this this is how they get made because I'm just popping everything out and taking a look at it and seeing how it snaps to other things. And I end up with something that looks like an insane fun house or something. things snap to those. These ones, no. These ones just are kind of little standalone garden railings or something. Okay. I think of these, I kind of like this polished wood one. Get the same height. Let's try a half wall. No, that's going to be too tall, too. <sighs> You're making me jump again! Hey, <laughs> Mikey. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome, Gem Creative. Hello, hello. Welcome <laughs> to being a member. Oh, jeez. Mikey likes to give me the jump scares. Ross Clark talking in my ear unexpectedly. Okay. Thank you very much, Mikey. Your generosity is much appreciated. Okay. I think that I need to have some full walls going all the way up. Because I don't think the roofs will snap to the half walls, will they? I just see. No, no, they don't like the half walls. Oh. Huh? They're okay with the double half walls. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah, every mod kind of has its own different little rules and quirks, and you just kind of have to learn what they are and figure out how to work with it. 
Okay, let's pick up. I love the QOL plus multi-tool. It's it works with most other modded structures, but apparently not all of these ones. Huh. Some of them it does not. These little guys up. Okay, let's see if I switch it to demolish mode. Will it demolish them? No. Oh, well, it demolished that. Okay. But not the ones that it didn't want to interact with. Okay. But I can still pick them up manually. I don't know why they're not cooperating. That is funny. That is very strange, but usually I don't sp spend a whole lot of brain power trying to figure out why they do different things. I just want to figure out what they do and then how to work with it or around it. Let's see. Okay. Too high should be good enough, I think. So let's do all the rest of the walls. That height. No, this is this one is the wonky height. Yeah, not that one. Um, we'll just go back to the polished wood and we'll fill in the rest of these with that just so we can check out the roof options. Yep, now you have a little bird after your name indeed. And the little birds actually change to show how long a person's been a member, too. So that's why there's different color birds. You shall call the bird Kevin. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I haven't, I just realized I don't think I've found any window walls. I pro there probably are some, I just didn't see them. Um, and also, as a member, you have access to some bird emotes now so you might want to check those out all the new members can spam the chat with different birdie emotes try them out i bought those for you guys on etsy special just for you i don't yeah i should be fine so i'll put one there I don't want to block those gates though. I should be fine with a few half walls here and there. Wonder, can these these carved stone ones can they huh they can snap above a wall or beside a wall, but it's kind of interesting how they snap with space below. Like it's pretty obvious that it's supposed to be a railing. Oh, and I didn't even check to see the different variants we're gonna have to build a porch pretty soon but first roof 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 i can sound like a dog now roof roof there we'll just fill it in with these guys so that everything's the same height and then play with some roofy bits Hey, Steffels. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Uh, for becoming a member. Oh, th thank you very much. I can't talk. I keep getting startled by people here. Thank you very much for gifting a membership and welcome Yousef Designer to being a member. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, can I flip? 
it, oh, there's a bunch of different roof options too, but let's start with the basics. E flip, there we go. That is interesting how it automatically has an overhang. That's something I bet Aaron would like. <laughs> he, it, I don't know about if he'd like the fact that it floats and has an overhang, but it is what it is. Let's, let's try a different way so that it doesn't float. Okay, so if we did it like this, we snap another one behind it. Uh, no, it's only, it says it's only got one snap point. Okay, so this, this is something that they prob that is kind of a little bit broken that they probably have to fix because you kind of need roof pieces to snap to each other. Okay, well, it'll snap like that, but it won't snap above or below. You can have tiered roofs like that. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. There's a curved one. I like the curved one. So if you were going to do something like a pagoda like that, where a roof didn't have to be super wide, like you didn't need it to be deep, then you could use it for that. And there's bright green ones too. And a gold colored one. Can I flip this? There we go. Okay, and then we've got like a roof corner piece here too. Let's, oh, wrong button. Let's have a look at that guy. Um, this guy appears to be broken. That's unfortunate. Okay. So the roof's a little bit borked, but uh, hey, wildcard borks things all the time too, so I mean. Not that big of a deal. At least it hasn't crashed so far, so I'm happy about that. Okay, the ceilings though, the ceilings are, are fun because for those who uh, weren't on earlier when I was showing the ceilings, okay, there's a polished wood, there's uh, like that. There is this fancy ornate painted dragon one that is super cool. I love that one so much. There, and then we've got like brick. We've got one that matches the foundations. And then check this out. There's one that looks like water. You could build your own pool. I mean, you couldn't swim in it necessarily because it is a ceiling. But look at it looks so cool though. So uh, the mod again, this particular one is called Chinese Architecture and it is a foreign language mod. So um, so I there's some things lost in translation as far as descriptions go and stuff like that. So just be prepared for that. Be prepared to do a little bit of guessing and a little bit of testing if you use it at all. But it does have a lot of really fun, really cool stuff. Oh, this one. It's like polished wood again. And then we've got some triangles like a so. And then we've got more. Oh, that's a nice little brick for like a patio or something. So yeah, crazy mod. Wee. I kind of wish that they had foundations that were that looked like water or grass instead, but you know, 
I'm not making mods, so beggars don't get to be choosers. <laughs> I, I just think it's cool the things that are available. So uh, this is the water blocks from underneath. You can just look straight up through them. The grass blocks from underneath look like look green at least. And I think a lot of the ceilings can also at least some of them can also be snapped on top of foundations, I think. Will you snap on top? Well it does, but it's not showing. Oh. Uh what was that? You can make it look like grass is growing through. Where's that water one again? Okay, that's there's the water one. It's a little hard to see above that checkerboard uh, <laughs> testing uh, server floor. Whoa. Okay, okay. All right, so that is the mod Chinese Architecture. It's got all these massive prefabs as well as lots of different building pieces, tons of decor. I didn't even scratch the surface, excuse me, with popping out and looking at the decor. So many different things, all this statuary. Uh, there's a reason why the mod is three gigabytes. It is huge. Because, yeah, it's got all these custom structures, custom building pieces, decor, all of it. So much stuff. Even steaming bowls of food. So much cool stuff. But, yes, it's called Chinese Architecture. There are a few mods, mostly by the same person, who I'm guessing it's because their screen name is translated from Chinese or something. Anyway, it's just a string of numbers. It's not something I can really pronounce. Uh, but this one is the one that's just called Chinese Architecture, and I picked it because it had the most downloads. This one has about 13,000 downloads. So just look for the one with the most, just search Chinese Architecture and then pick the one with the most downloads, and that'll be this one. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, people blame mods for breaking things all the time, but it's because wildcard broke the mod in the first place so it's not the modder's fault yeah wildcard breaks the mod by changing some base file the mod depends on and then the modder can't even fix it until wildcard gets around to updating the dev kit and so in the meantime they have people screaming at them in their comment sections or on their Discord or on Twitter saying, your mod is breaking my server, your mod quit working, blah, 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 and getting all mad at them. And it's not their fault and there's nothing they can do. So, I mean, I, I understand why some modders quit or at least take breaks because it is it is a lot. It is a lot to deal with. I mean, you make something. Can you imagine if you made a piece of art? And then just, you know, kind of donated it for free. Like, here's this beautiful painting that I made. And then whoever you gave it to insisted that for the rest of your life, whenever you had to come by and clean the painting for them and keep touching it up whenever it needs touch-ups, like, that would kind of take a lot of the fun out of it after a while. So that is one of the benefits of the premium mods. Just FYI is that the premium mods basically come with a guarantee that they're going to be maintained and are going to be kept in working condition. And the modder who decides to make their mod a premium mod is basically saying that they want modding to be, instead of just a expensive and time consuming hobby, they want it to be a side hustle or even their full-time job, which means that they'll be a lot more dedicated and have a lot more time potentially to maintain it. So if it's not a premium mod, doesn't come with guarantees, but it's a fun toy to play with. So, yeah. <laughs> the, the analogy made you laugh. Yeah, I'm an artist in other media, uh, not modding, obviously, but 
I paint and I, you know, I'm the artsy fartsy crafty type. Never met an art or craft I didn't like. When I was 10 years old, I'd go to the craft store and blow all my all my allowance every week. Uh, yeah, so so I kind of know what it's like to be an artist and sometimes people can get a little entitled when asking you to make art for them. So anyway, yeah, Chinese architecture, that is that mod. Let me stash the rest of these pieces. Oh, as soon as I look at the columns, then we'll stash the rest of the pieces and go to looking at another mod. Another foreign language mod, incidentally, but this one is in French. So if there's anybody in the chat who knows French, make sure to stick around because we may need some translation services. Uh, fun fact, I, I actually am, am a Canadian citizen, even though I live in the US, and I went to part of elementary school, at least in Canada, and Canada being a bilingual country, there's French and English on all the labels of everything, you know, all your milk cartons and cereal boxes and stop signs and everything is in both English and French. So even though I was from Western Canada and didn't know anybody who only spoke French, you pick up a little bit here and there. So I can kind of, kind of pick up a little bit, kind of make guesses as to what some things mean. But I am, I can't, I'm not conversational or, you know, I do not know French and I'm not going to pretend that I do. I really love this railing though. There are a few other railing variants. There's also plaster quarter walls in here um, under the railing variant here. But I just love this railing. This railing is so gorgeous. Like, look at this. Oh, uh, put the gun away. You don't need the gun. There you go. Uh, there's also this railing. It's like a white stone railing. There's your border walls. And then there's also this gorgeous like half wall railing. So, yeah. So those are the railings. I just wanted to show those off as well and, okay and then the columns uh oh and this gate i was gonna look at this gate at this gate it is gorgeous oh and it has you can actually snap a gate into it oh my gosh look at that imagine marching through here with your trike <laughs> wow That is gorgeous. Okay. And then we've got super tall columns. Wow. Jeez, those are ginormous. And okay, these look just the same. It may be that the modder is, oh no, this one has a different base on it, it looks like. Oh, no, I cycled to a different variant. Okay, that's what's going on. Okay. Cool. You know, what was that first one also has the two different variants. I don't know what is the difference between them. There might not be a difference. The duplicated entry, apparently. Okay, and then this must be what that header thing that I just put away is supposed to go on. Uh, where did it go? I, I stashed it somewhere else. I'll just make one over here. This is the crafting bench for the mod. It was... Is it in here? This guy. Make one of those. Oh, or a hundred, I guess. If you want to give me a hundred, I guess I'll take a hundred. Put the rest of these back in there so I'm not tempted to play with this some more and we can move on. But I do want to go... Ah, yes, this is what these are for. Okay. 
I was wondering what that piece was. Nice. That is so cool. All right, let's... I'm not going to get out ceilings from the mod. I'm just going to get out some regular ceilings and see if they snap. <sighs> see if I can find the regular ones in between all the modded ones. Okay. Hey, Aussie Rob. Welcome, welcome. Ooh, stretching, stretch, stretch, stretch. <laughs> uh, let's see, what did I miss? Oh, you can translate Gordy for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Aaron was, wasn't able to make it on today. He was going to. He's been saying since fall, last fall, that he'd come on a stream with me sometime, but... Was not able to make it today, unfortunately, but he uh, took a rain check. It'll happen eventually. Nice. So you can snap ceilings to these. That's pretty cool. All right. Love, love, love. Very fun. Not necessarily a mod that I would just put on a server with players that are playing survival because it isn't the most well-balanced mod um like you can look at the prices of some of these things and they're a little insane uh i mean the the building pieces are not that are not that bad this they call this a subgrade this is the foundation uh 20 cementing paste 20 wood and 30 stone but things like the gigantic prefabs, like we've got a city of gigantic prefabs here. These are these cost three wood each. So that's why I was saying earlier on that these would be super fun for an event server. Set up a Chinese city and then play paintball or play capture the flag or play uh, like some kind of hide and seek or some kind of battle. Have a battle. Set up two Chinese cities and see if you can overtake each other or something. So, super fun mod. And now we'll go over to this little teensy area over here for another mod that actually has a ton of different pieces and stuff in it. This one is called Shoko's Decor. And I am really pleasantly surprised by this one. It, it, it has a placeable pool that you actually can walk in. It is not real water. You can't fill canteens or anything, but you can walk in it. It's got so much cool stuff. Oh, uh, I had these were on a wall, but I think I must have removed the mod for the wall that they were on. That's kind of funny. They're floating now. Yeah, so that's the thing. Actually, let's let's get out some of the walls from that mod. Maybe we can fill that in there. Look at all the beds that come with this mod, Shoko's Decor. You've got a bunch of different textures of basically like marble. And then this one on the end, look at that, it's color changing. There is a lot of really fun, colorful, modern looking stuff in this mod. But this is the one that is all, that I was mentioning earlier that's all in French. And uh, look at this. This is, a, this is a storage cabinet that can hold weapons and ammo, but only weapons and ammo. Like you can't put anything else in. So you can just do transfer all and it'll only take the, the weapons and ammo. And we got some like neon lights. This little laptop here that's sitting on the console, um, little storage. The little laptop is actually the crafting bench for the mod. So that's kind of fun. Oh yes, Aussie Rob, that would be amazing. I have gotten, I have gotten addicted to double jumping and, uh, doing flips and stuff in playing in Shrouded and Shrouded is so much fun. And I love the parkour in that game so much. I keep find myself finding myself trying to double jump in other games and then, oh yeah, dang it, can't do that. 
Okay, now where is the wall? Where is it? I was just dumping things in here that I didn't need anymore, so I will probably have to craft a wall. Oh, and actually, I'm looking at that. There, I need to look at that. There we go. This was an interesting feature of this mod that has the potential actually to make it really, really fun and interesting for a server, like a community server, because all of the different items in the mod are not crafted using wood and stone or whatever. They are crafted using these tokens. These dinor are the resource that it uses to craft the different things. And then there's just one engram for the dinor that a server admin, if you wanted to, you could block that one engram and then have the dinor be an item that's given out as a server currency. You could give it out you know, in loot drops, you could give it out for prizes for contests. There's different mods where you can set it up to give a certain number, you know, like a, give a prize for people stay, who have been playing a certain number of hours, whatever. And, and then people could use those to craft whatever decor or structures from this mod that they wanted to. So I think that's a really fun idea. And I'm going to have to spawn in more silica pearls in order to make some more of these. But I've got over 2,000. That should be enough for a while. Structures. There we go. Jardin. I don't know how to pronounce French at all. So apologies to anybody who can pronounce French. I try sometimes just for fun. But yes, I, I cannot. And I am sure that um, I've heard that French speakers get somewhat offended if you mispronounce their language, so I apologize. Okay, so we've got a lot of different crafting tables here. I think I already got all of these out and have them around to look at, though. So I will walk around and show you those. Uh, but this is the building stuff. Okay. Uh, La Res... Okay, I, I believe this is the modern wall and it's saying that it has the resistance of metal. It has the strength of metal. I that's my guess at what that tooltip is saying in French. Just a guess though. Pillar. And then, yeah, there's a bunch of different wall and ceiling. And this is actually a half wall. So let's grab these guys. And there's also marble pieces. So let's do one of each of these. All right, and then the different wall options. Okay, there's the wall. Did I not make a wall? Oh, yes, I did. Okay, there it is. And we've got this guy and this guy. And yeah, I think that's all the wall variants. And then, you know, of course, each one of those has their own number of different variations. But um, since we've got all these things floating that are supposed to be on a wall, let's just go ahead and put a wall down, shall we? Um, nope, actually, I delete. <laughs> Whatever mod I had for the foundation also appears to be gone. So we're going to have to put foundations down first. Try to line it up as best we can. Okay, I really like these foundations though. They really nice light colored smooth wood planking. Um, it's foundation terrace terrace so i think it's supposed to basically look like outdoor decking 
but it yeah i really like the look of that and there's also one that's kind of i wouldn't say it's grass texture but it's kind of like astroturf texture and this this is really interesting i can't quite figure out the purpose of it though Oh yeah, shiny stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm very easily distracted. <laughs> uh, for me, I, I believe it's ADHD. But yes, neurodivergent peeps unite. <laughs> so yeah, I just set this up. I do have a generator in the area. I don't know if it needs to be powered by the generator or not. Actually, that's a good question. Let me find the generator and turn it off. Um, where did I put that generator? It's actually a very tiny little generator. Um, where did it go? The, the 3D map of the island is pretty cool. Um, yeah, this whole wall disappeared too. I might have to put out an... Oh, no, this. No, that's the first aid kit. But it's about that size, actually. Where did I put the little power box? And yes, look, there's a dance floor. With a DJ booth. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to make another one. The fact that it's in French also makes it a little tricky to search. But at least all of the engrams being inside this little crafting table. Makes it so that you don't have to search through your whole inventory. Uh, you know, every engram in the game in order to find things. They're all going to be in here. Radio rave. Um, there's little radios, actually, that play music as well. Structures. I think it's under machines. Yes. Okay, that's the one. Okay, so let me... Yeah, I used to try to stop myself from getting distracted and try to, you know, force myself to focus, blah, blah, blah. And, but the older I've gotten, I'm like, you know, screw it. My, br my brain has its own way of doing things and I'm okay with that. I'm just going to let it do what it does. I'm going to chase the shiny things. And you know what? Eventually everything gets done. I, I do that when I'm building too. I flit around from one part of the build to another completely different part of the build all over the place, but eventually it all gets done. So it's all good. Okay, let's, can I pick these up? Oh, there it is. I can see it because it's behind here. Um, okay, turn it off. Okay, now can we pick this up, please? So we can put a wall down. All these different cool sofas as well. It's this little cat gun figurine. Which, yes, that is a thing as well in this mod. This person likes their anime. This French-speaking person who made this mod. They like their anime. Uh, there, is a, there is a weapon that is a cute little cat gun. And there's a whole bunch of neon art that looks like anime characters. And there's even wall art. That looks uh here's an example actually of different like anime girls and stuff anime people yeah all of these are floating because i thought i could have sworn that i that i use base game walls but i guess i didn't so anyway somehow all the walls went poof when i changed the mod list on this server because this was i was just popping out the decorations to look at them here i didn't pop out the walls until later over in when I, when i was over there so yeah uh pick up no nope, come on uh r I take all the eight. Getting confused playing too many different games. Okay. There we go. Now we can put that in there. So there's this really nice 
uh, like a modern shiny brick kind of tile texture. And then on the other side of it, um, it's got it's got this some really it's like birch wood or something. And it, it makes me think of IKEA actually. And there's also three windows like that. There's a round window, which I love. And there's a doorway. But let's go back to the solid wall. Okay. And then let's look at some of the other walls just for kicks and giggles. <sighs> Oh, neurodivergent, Aussie Rob. Uh, that is a word that someone coined a decade or so ago that uh, basically, you know, divergent means different, somewhat, something that's different from the majority or from the norm. And neuro refers to brain. And so neurodivergent people are people that are literally different brain. So basically under the neurodivergent umbrella are things like autism, ADHD, bipolar, um, a lot of different brain differences that people may have. And the neurodiversity movement is it's actually pretty cool and pretty inspiring. I think that basically the idea behind it is that neurodiversity, different brain types is just another way of the, another way that there's diversity within the human population you know there's there's no one right brain type and people that are different from the norm or the average the typical are not necessarily broken or wrong uh you know we just have a different brain type and there's nothing wrong with that so yeah you can google that sometime there's so uh, I love these glass walls so much. Look at, they are so bright and so cool. So that is all of these. There's also a clear one, as you can see. Uh, so these would be so fun combined with other modern building mods, I think. Like there's one... Uh, that came out pretty recently. I also have it on here. Hopefully I'll get a chance to test it a little later in the stream. But plaster building pieces by Sandy, who is um, one of Aaron Longstaff's admins on his server. And just recently made that mod for some more modern looking building options. And so we'll, we'll take a look at that. It's, and I'm curious how it would combine with some of these other see does this just come in black i think okay so this it's black on one side and it's got this interesting pattern on the other side okay and there's also window triple window round window doorway and slopes of course so so many fun and colorful options to play with and this mod has been really polished. I I don't think I've really run into anything in it that didn't work. And like this sink here actually works if you connect it to water. Like I've got a water tank over there and an intake in the big cube of water. This is actually a smithy. And it's a reskin of the base game smithy. So you can anything you could make in a smithy, you could make in there. The stove, you can actually cook meat in it. It's basically an industrial grill. This is a refrigerator. Yeah, frigo. This is a refrigerator. And go turn on. Yes, the light on it is red right now because it is not powered. There's also a, an incubator. And there's another piece of art. This one also, the, the artist's name is actually in the tooltip for that one. I'll put up both of those over on here as well. Um, 
uh, neuro, there's different definitions out there of depression and anxiety, I mean, of neurodivergency and what exactly is included in that umbrella. The person who originally coined the term back in the late 90s, apparently they were, uh, they were intending it to be a term that covered all brain differences, whether they are uh, things that you were born with or if they are things that are a result of illness or injury or whatever, it doesn't matter. Most people nowadays use it as use it to describe like permanent brain differences, usually think like things that you're born with. People that have persistent like lifelong depression and anxiety, absolutely people that are just going through a rough phase and they'll be fine again in next week. I don't know if that necessarily applies. I don't, I don't know. Things like brain injuries though, I think those are covered, but I, to me, the difference kind of is that, you know, if you, if I get a concussion, I want, I want to get better. It is an injury. And I need to take care of it myself, be careful. And I, my hope is that it will go away and that I will get better. Whereas the conditions associated with neurodiversity, you know, nobody's going to cure my ADHD. I take meds for it, but that, that helps with certain aspects, but that's, that's not going to make me not ADHD. And I don't even want to be cured. And same with autism. I don't want to be cured. I like my brain. I like the way my brain works. I don't need a cure for that. It's not an illness or an injury. Uh, and there's there's a lot of confusion around that sometimes because, you know, some people perceive conditions like that as being, um, you know, an illness or an injury. Things that are you know, part of neurodiversity, that doesn't mean that they're not disabilities. They may still be disabilities, but that, I mean, just because someone has a disability doesn't mean that it's something that can be cured or that they might even want to be cured. For some people, they just accept that that's, you know, that's the way, the way they are and they know that we're not going to get better. Like I have a genetic connective tissue disorder. Um, would I like a cure for that? Sure, but it's not going to happen because it's literally, uh, I have a mutation in my DNA that means that some of the collagen my body makes is defective. Then that causes chronic pain and fatigue. And unless they're able to figure out a way to rewrite the DNA in every single cell in my body, they're not going to find a cure for that. So it's something I have to learn to live with. And, you know, seeing people with disabilities as being whole people who are deserving of, you know, freedom and dignity and as much autonomy as they can have. Uh, that doesn't mean that they're not disabled. That means that just because they're disabled doesn't mean that they don't deserve all the same things as a regular person, but, you know, a typically abled person, you know, If, I hope that makes sense. And yeah, I, I also wouldn't use depression or anxiety, uh, just for talking about a rough patch, but I know that some people do, you know, some people go, you know, oh, I didn't get to buy the concert ticket that I wanted to get. I'm so depressed. You know, that. That's not depressed. That's disappointed. That is different. People say the same about ADHD though, you know, like, oh, I'm so easily distracted. I'm so ADHD. Well, they might be ADHD or they might not be, but either way, it's, uh, if you think you might be, learn about it and <laughs> don't just use it as a flippant expression. Um, this, this mod also has, uh, neon letters so you can spell stuff. Let's see. I like the rainbow ones. There are also some solid colored ones, but I'm just going to use the rainbow ones. 
because I don't want to have to switch around. I'm going to slow fly. There we go. Don't give anybody whiplash. We'll put a little subtle reminder up here. Ooh, this is a lot of letters to go through <laughs> every time. There we go, then we'll turn them on. And I don't have a generator on right now, so apparently they might not need power to work. There. Okay, anyway, I went looking for the generator because I was talking about this thing and that I am puzzled with it. So if there is someone who speaks French who can tell me what that says, that would be helpful. But yes, this thing, it looks like it's a reskin basically of a loadout mannequin or maybe the, um, like the the uh, training dummy or something because it's got all of the slots here but you can't actually put anything in them I tried and this thing generates crickets over time uh, you just it just generates more and more crickets I don't know exactly what they're for I tried like releasing one and ended up accidentally eating it and that was a little bit scarring Be um so yeah i haven't really tried since then there's also a slot here for creatures so i don't know what that's about so yeah anybody who knows what that says <laughs> that would be cool ah Yeah, exactly, Aussie Rob. Having depression and anxiety is very different from just having a different outlook on life, being sad, whatever. It's it underlies, you know, everything. Like even even when you're happy, it can be in the background. Like it's I mean, I've been diagnosed with um anxiety and with major depression at various points in my life and it is hard for people who have never had it to really know how to relate because it's not the same as just being sad or being overwhelmed or whatever this lamp let's put the lamp on the shelf please let me put it on the shelf there we go cute little modern looking lamp that's pretty cool and then yeah and this shelf thingy is pretty cool and then we've got these based on okay, this one says uh, this one i don't know what it's doing if it's doing anything it's just um but there was another one like this one is pretty cool but make it's Okay, stop, stop, stop. I don't know if that's copyrighted or not. Um, but anyway, there is also apparently a radio that functions as a meat spoiler and plays music while it spoils meat. And there's also one that's the opposite of a meat spoiler. It'll take your spoiled meat and turn it back into regular meat. So that's the thing. And this... Okay, this is just a storage box. So I threw a bunch of stuff in here last night, apparently. When I was looking at this. And. And we got a rainbow light tube as well. Color shifting. All of these different bed variants. You saw the couch variants earlier. All of the, the couch variants. And then check this out. I was, ex I was so excited when I saw this. Like. It mounts on the wall. Like, how handy would that be for saving space in your base? This is actually a forge. 
that runs on oil. It doesn't run on gasoline. It runs on oil. And it mounts on the wall. And there is also, I think I popped it out over here. Uh, yes. Check this one out. It's a 3D printer. It's a fabricator that is a 3D printer. Like how awesome and perfect is that? Yeah, so that, I think that's just amazing. And there's different tables as well. Uh, no, I'm not trying to pick up the table. And Oh, I guess this is just called Tableau. Tableau? Something like that. Don't go freezing up on me. So that one, the frame lights up. I wish I could show you what these look like it in the dark, but no day night cycle on this server. You can't even force it on this map. It's just basically like noon all the time, which is handy most of the time. But occasionally if you wanted to look at something in the dark, you'd be out of luck. There is also a shower and you can actually turn it on. Like how cool is that? There is Christmas decorations, including this one. This one is a little wild, I think, but it's clear, but you can put things inside. And unlike the base game Christmas gifts that just have like three slots, look at all the slots in this. There's 30 slots and there's there's also a radio that uh, I need to pause my own music before I can play that. Just a sec. <laughs> Making me jump again. <laughs> Stop my own music. Oh my gosh. Five more memberships. Mikey, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you very much. And welcome, Coraman and Norville Getty and Mickey's Gaming Table. Hello, Judy. And Triga Happy Productions and Tracy UK. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That's awesome. Let's see. Turn on some. Oh, this is a good. This is a good sound bite as well. This is my friend Soap Goddess that some of you know. <laughs> How perfect is that? <laughs> So this, this radio, the red and green one, plays Christmas, the Christmas theme from Ark. Turn my music back on here. Here we go. Okay, it's starting a new one. Okay. Oh, and check this out. Isn't this cool? Patio table that you know like an outdoor fire pit can have a really cool deck and there's also i'm not even going to try to pronounce that but it's a hot tub and you can sit in it and i was messing around with the building pieces and i made this little like fun house thing those are actually stairs so they're i alternated stairs and roof pieces just for fun but yeah, look at all of these different foundation, different marble foundation colors. And this isn't, this is only half of them. It was a little too chaotic, even for me, when I used all of the colors. There's actually six different colors. So there is also, did I use them over here? No. Okay. Let me, this marble. There's a black and white one. I believe that's black and white. We will see, I guess. So, okay, yeah, this is this one is black and white. And then the other one, this is the colors. So we have like black and gold. We have the green, blue and gold. There's like a yellow and orange. And a pink and purple. And a red and black all of these different options for flooring and foundations and also you know 
couches and beds and things like that also come in all of those different colors. Me, it just looks like some. I would love to make a like a base that looked like a, a fun house or something. Like this basically already looks like a clown house. It just would be fun. But I, oh yeah, and there also is a variant of these walls that does not have the border around it. Uh, that's and and also ceilings with or without a border. What's this one? I think that's the wall. I think. Is it? Yeah, and the clear glass is really clear. Like you can barely, barely see it if you get really close you can kind of see a little bit of a difference there between the, the the glass and the sky but it is practically invisible so that has all kinds of fun applications as well for both you know regular building and for all kinds of mischief and mayhem Always fun to like, for example, stick a invisible glass wall in front of your tribe mate's door or something like that. So they run into it. It's one of many juvenile pranks that I like to do with stuff like this. So yeah, all of those fun colors and then and all of the marble and stuff. So yeah, this Super fun, Shoko's Decor is the name of this one. Shoko's Decor. And, okay, this is super impressive. I was talking about the sizes of mods earlier and the fact that that one's three gigs. This one is under 200 megabytes. It's tiny for what, it, for what you get for it. I, I, I feel like this one is definitely a good bang for your megabyte buck, as it were. Definitely worth a spot on any server that would like to have more modern decor and building options. Under 200 megabytes is insane for both decor and building pieces. I think a lot of the reason why it's able to be so small is because of the fact that all of these more modern looking things have very smooth um, textures to them. There's not a lot of polygons involved. So I don't know, that's my guess anyway. So yeah, that's that fun stuff. Let me go throw the rest of this in a box here and then we can pop out another mod and have a look. Oh, and these things also, if you demolish them, you get the token things back. It actually gives them back to you um, instead of breaking down into other materials. So yeah, I broke some earlier and I was very impressed by that. Oh, let's put the, I already did put those art things back up. Sometimes it's a little confusing, the fact that in creative mode, it doesn't consume the items anymore for ASA. So like I can craft one wall and place infinite walls from that one if I'm in creative mode. So it, um, when I'm testing things out, it, it can make it a little confusing to keep track of which ones I've already tested and which ones I have not. And this, I, I don't know what this is. I'm guessing this is a little Easter egg of, of some kind uh, on the part of the modder. But yes, there is a little cat gun. I'm, it, it appears to be a reskin of the flare gun. If you take a look here, yeah, it says, a, it says flare gun. And I'm pointing at the screen as if you can see. But um, it says flare gun and a I didn't didn't seem like it needs any kind of ammo, but I actually spawned in a creature and was shooting at it and it was doing no damage yesterday. So I don't know what the point of it is really. If it's just for fun or or what. 
Like, it makes marks on things that, that disappear within a few seconds, but that's pretty much all it does. I wonder, can you put it in there? You can, indeed. So, yeah, that's a thing. All right. Now, let's see what new toys we should pop out to play with. Oh, and I need to get caught up in the chat again. Sorry. Uh, can't find it after you download and activate it. Um, the Shoko's Decor, if, if you're referring to that one, the way to find it is, let's see. Found it last time. Um, the crafting table is what's going to be in the, uh, in the Engrams. So let's see, where does the crafting table unlock? Because the crafting table is the computer. It's the it's a little laptop. There it is. PC is what it's labeled. Unlocks at level 10. Five crystal, five polymer, 10 metal ingots to craft it. So that little, P, the, the PC, and then let's see, can I search that? Yeah, there it is. Um, but then where? Is it under structures? It might be under structures. Furniture? No. Would, oh, that's that's a different mod. Uh, special? No, that's RR Medieval. This is, that's the statue for the Chinese one. That one also is for that mod. It's in here somewhere because I found it and crafted it from here yesterday. And I don't think I used the search function. I mean, I wish that all modders would do this. Like Architect Structures Remastered, one folder, all the stuff is in there. Clinger Additional right there really nice way of doing it but not all of them do it i mean not all modders have the same amount of experience even okay oh this one is for foundation ceilings which is a little tiny mod that just gives you ceilings that act as foundations so that's kind of cool um hmm. anyway it's in here somewhere but if you unlock the Engram and then just search PC, I guess, should find it. If that's the mod you were talking about. <laughs> oh, you need a massive mod around one terabyte to replace or update ASA. Yeah, if only. The unfortunate thing is the modders only have the dev kit to work with and the dev kit is based on ASA. I mean, they do their best. Um, there's a French, a, another French modder the same guy who made the Irian mod map, he's got an ASA mod map called Nirvana that part of his stated goal for that mod is to make a map that runs better than the island. It's, he doesn't have a great computer himself. And he says that Nirvana, he gets 60 FPS and it's stable on there. But part of how he's been able to do that is he, set it up to have a custom art style so it's a map that everything looks a little more cartoony than regular asa and there's an, a mod that goes with it called cartoon dinos and it makes all the dinos look a little more cartoony as well but that's a lot easier for your computer to render and so it apparently it just runs a lot better so that's that's an option to to play around with if <sighs> if ASA keeps crashing or, you know, various testing maps. This one, simple flat map. There is also another one that I have um, used before that's just called Cantex, C-A-N-T-E-X. That one is just a big flat grass. world. So it, that's nice if you want to be able to take pictures of a build like on grass instead of on the gray checkerboard stuff. But it's completely flat. I don't think... I don't think it has a day-night cycle either. Doesn't spawn dinos. I mean, you can spawn them in if you want to, but it doesn't naturally spawn dinos. But it's just totally flat grass as 
far as the eye can see. Things like that are a lot easier to, to run versus a regular arc map. Uh, there's also one that I've used for some things before by Captain Fat Dog. It's just called Green World. It's literally just a green screen world. Green screen, ground, sky, everything is just green. But, uh, but yeah, if I want to test out a mod before I risk adding it to my single player save or a server, I pop it onto one of these. Even in single player, you can download one of these and then use the mod map to test um, a mod that you're considering adding to your single player or your personal server. So yeah, handy. Hey, Judy Crow. Hello, hello. Okay, backing up. Oh, Aussie Rob is asking a rando question. Does anybody know how long a delivery will take from the UK to Aussie land? I may or may not have bought some merch from Azza's store. I'm just wondering, please don't tell him. From the UK to Australia? I, I don't know. I would probably guess somewhere between two weeks and a month. Depends on if it goes by ship or if it goes by plane, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll find out. I haven't ordered anything from Australia recently. Oh yeah, that's assuming it doesn't get stuck in customs, of course. Yeah, so anyway, let's see if I can find one of these other ones. Okay, we have got uh, the RR Medieval Structures on here. We also have one that I've been wanting to try called, let me, let me pull up the mod page here actually, Medieval Building Expansion. I have not had a look at this yet at all. This will be my first look at this mod, but um, this is something, by the way, in fact, let me let me show y'all what I'm doing here. I'm going to switch to a display capture scene so you can see. No, not that scene. Dang it. Uh, this one. So I put my browser over here. And if you go to CurseForge's, CurseForge's page in a browser as opposed to just the in-game mod browser, there's additional information. And so I highly recommend it. Uh, there's a description. There will be links a lot of times that actually work. The links in the in-game mod browser, you, you know, they're not clickable. Uh, there will be comments so you can find out, you know, what kind of questions people have been asking, if people have been saying there's bugs or anything like that. Uh, a red flag that I'll look for with a mod is if there's a whole bunch of, of comments or questions or people saying it something doesn't work and if the modder hasn't replied and if it's been like a month or something I mean if it's a few days if it's a week you know give them cut them some slack but if it's been a month or more then it makes me think that they may not be active anymore or at least have taken a break so just something to be aware of but this one I believe, yeah, this one, the modder is replying to the comments within a day or two. So looks like they're still active. Um, this particular mod is apparently not on consoles yet. Because somebody asked about any thoughts on bringing this to PS5. And Geocow, uh, the modder, said this will come to console at some point. So... You can also see the fi different files, file sizes, all the different updates are in there. Uh, there's usually more images in the mod browser on CurseForge. You usually can't see any more than just the logo image. And I'm not, the uh, relations, this will be if the mod is dependent on any other mods. Like, you know, you need... For example, you need to have cartoon dinos in order to use the mod map Nirvana, something like that. Then it'll state that there. And so th this is really handy. A lot of times, it uh, doesn't look like this modder has a curse forge. He's engaging with people through the comments section. A lot of times, if they have a Discord, it will be linked in here as well. 
And that's also something that isn't clickable if you're just looking at the in-game mod browser. So yeah, highly recommend actually going to CurseForge in a browser. I usually just search CurseForge Arc mods and and then, you know, you can browse from there and, you know, see all of the different mods, shows you what the size is and there's more information how many times it's been downloaded. So, yeah. That is one way to get more information about a mod if you are curious about it. Now, let me switch back to the other scene there and move my browser off to one of my other screens here. Okay. Now, I was going to look and see. Sometimes they'll say um, a little bit about uh, a little bit about how to craft the pieces or what you need or what the name of the crafting bench is or something like that. Let's see what it says. Um, uh, this mod is an ambitious foray into the creation of eaves and medieval buildings. In this early beta stage, we invite you to seize the exciting opportunity to elevate your structures with unique roofing elements at the cost of a standard roof piece. Okay, so it may be that this is just roofing pieces to start with. Um, approach with caution. It contains a plethora, a plethora of experimental content. Uh, if you're not accustomed to the potential pitfalls of testing uncharted territories, this mod might not be for the faint of heart. Brace yourself for the unexpected as this work in progress is not aiming for a polished glitch free experience at this stage. So it's in the early stages. They're just trying to get things in the game, test them out. There isn't really a way with CurseForge for modders to make a version of their mod that they can test in game without actually publishing it to CurseForge. So you will find mods that are not ready for public use yet in CurseForge. And so that's another reason to read the description before, you know, don't just click on every shiny logo that you see. You actually want to find, you want to know about the mod that you are downloading. So this one is still in beta, but I would like to check it out. Another thing to be aware of though, is that, okay, people become modders because they like to mod. They like to code. Some of them like to 3D model. Others don't necessarily like the 3D model and they maybe buy their models, whatever, but they like making mods. Nobody becomes a modder because they like setting up a mod page on CurseForge uh, or even taking screenshots. There are so many mods that don't have good screenshots or even any screenshots. And a lot of times the information that is in the description may be a little outdated or it may not describe everything that's in the mod, which is why the only real way to test it is to actually put it on a testing server and pop it out and play with it and just see what it does. Because, yeah, modders don't usually like writing description. <coughs> Excuse me. At least not the ones that I've talked to. Get a cough drop here. All right. I'm trying to pick just the ones that I know are from this particular mod. And I've got at least a little bit of an idea of what's in here because I did find a video on uh, on YouTube last night that somebody else did looking at this one, but it was from a couple months ago, so it might have changed since then, but okay, let's try searching medieval. Of course, it's going to bring up all the RR medieval stuff, but there might also be some other stuff in here. No, that's all RR medieval which is awesome. I love that mod. Really great mod. Polished mod by a very dedicated modder. Highly recommend all of RR's mods, honestly. Nenea is great. Um, let's see what else should we try to search. Um, let's just look at roofs, since apparently that is what they added. That's from K Rustic. 
our our medieval I believe yeah stone uh terracotta roofs I think that one's from this mod SD which mod is that go back and look at my mod list here Okay. For those who do not have additional screens, um, or if you're playing on a console and you need to look up something via a browser or look at your mod list on your Nitrato page or something while you're in game, use your phone. Um, Nitrato actually has an app that you can use even to manage your, your server. So that helps a lot. And you could also just look up stuff on the phone. Okay, so what was that code? Terracotta triangle, let's grab that one too. SD. Soko's decor, maybe? That might be Soko's decor. Guessing that's probably what it is. Okay. Hey, YouTube expert gamer. Hello, hello. It's been a minute. Hey, seven days was a lot of fun yesterday. I'll talk about that a little bit. In a minute here. Hey, Steffels. Well, you're going to have to jump off. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. And I hope you'll come hang out with us on Friday. Which is when I'm planning on streaming next. Have a great rest of your day. Um, talking about... <laughs> Mikey, you are not bad at streaming. Streaming is streaming is weird sometimes and there's a lot to learn um i'm sure that i've got old streams on my channel from like two years ago i have not made i have not taken those down yet but i'm sure they are extremely cringy i am sure they are yours are i am sure much more polished than mine were and heck I mean, you yours look great, especially. I mean, you you've been streaming with a camera for quite a while. I just barely got started at that side of things. Okay, well, I don't know. I know that there's goblin pieces. That was one thing that the mod was saying was that there's the, most of the things that are in the mod they wouldn't necessarily say were necessarily medieval they were more like just rustic uh goblin okay so it's just those three pieces then i already got those okay so let's pop those out and have a look at them and hmm primitive no oh well it would help if i was searching in the crafting menu i'm sure and then about seven days. Yes, yeah, seven days was a lot of fun. I I really enjoy that game. I wouldn't mind doing some more streams of that. Um, seven days was actually the game that I was into before I found Ark. So I have 800 hours in that game, but it's all from Alpha 17 and 18. So like three alphas ago. So a few, fair few things have changed since then. And a little rusty on some parts of it and the friends I was playing with uh two of them it was their very first time ever popping into the game the other one had maybe 10 hours or so that she'd played it so yeah bunch of noobs me super rusty them a bunch of noobs add that to a bunch of zombies it was an entertaining time very entertaining time all right, well, thanks for popping in, YouTube Expert Gamer. Thank you, thank you. And we will see you around.
Don't be a stranger around here. Make sure to pop back in if you're in the neighborhood. And I don't know why I'm talking like a redneck. I just do that sometimes. I don't know. Okay, there's also a cave mod that I wanted to look at. Let's pop that out. That might go really well with these rustic goblin things. Okay, what does this look like? How do I find the pieces to it? Are there images? No, no screenshots at all for this mod. Okay. So this is a mod that was created for one particular server on their request. But it sounded like a really cool idea, and so I wanted to try it out. Let's see. Now, what is it called? Cave entrances? You might have to... I might have to... The admin spawned in. I was hoping they would just show up in the creative menu. But it does not appear that it is. Um, that's unfortunate. All right, well, let's try these things and see what they look like. Okay, so, oh, that's... Oh, oh, okay. Um, it needs a foundation first, so let's... What is this? I don't know what that is. We can try that as well. Let's try grabbing some base game stone. Go and foundations. Fly, please. Thank you. how to do and now let's see what we got okay that does look pretty cool well they're calling that rustic i would call that i mean they're calling that goblin i can definitely see where it looks like you know goblin architecture or whatever from some mods why is okay i've heard that there was a bug with a lot of structure mods. Once again, wildcard broke something um, a little bit back that was that meant they weren't snapping. I think most of the other ones have been fixed by now, but it doesn't appear this one's been fixed. That's unfortunate. Some of the pieces are snapping though. So we got these giant bone pillars. That's kind of fun. And it doesn't want to place sideways. That's so weird. It won't place sideways, but it'll place up and down. Huh. Okay. And oh, okay, that's pretty cool looking. Look at that. That is fun. How big is this mod? Let me take a look. This mod, 785 megabytes. I certainly hope there's more to it than just these few pieces then for that much. Oh, wait, this one does have different options at least. That's okay, that's cool. Let's see what else we got. Okay, there's an inverted triangle, which is not wanting to place. I need to, I, I need to um, place a bug, do a bug report on the page oh it looks like look this this has definitely been broken it it's gone back to some previous version or something 
funny when stuff like that happens. That's not working. Yep. It is sadly borked. Yeah, I think that's a reskin of the wood triangle roof because some of the later options on the list are wood, you know, wood triangle roof op variants. Okay, what is, ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay, there's some cool looking walls. Terracotta with plants growing on it. That's nice. Do these snap properly? Yes, they do. That's nice to see for sure. That's cool. And there's triangles as well. Like, oh yeah, this, this one is just the inverted one, it looks like. And this is a reskin of the stone roof because then it's got a bunch of stone roof options. And then there is terracotta triangle. But, oh, there it goes right, right side up. Hmm. This one will apparently flip, but the earlier one didn't want to flip. I don't know what is up with that. I do like the color and more rustic look of this tile roof. Um, I know that RR Medieval and also Klinger Rustic have some tile roof options, but they're much more polished and brand new and shiny looking. And for when you want something that's a little more rustic, this definitely would be a good option. Just check the stone things here and see yep that just looks like base game stone okay okay and there's also some decor apparently hmm. it's still labeled stone secret doorway it thinks it's a stone secret doorway this is some kind of mural but it looks like a little cheese wheel. <laughs> this is what was happening the other night with the Chinese pieces. It looked like I was placing something little and then something different and big would pop out. Let's try placing it up here so maybe we can see the whole thing. That is a pretty cool painting. All right, Gem Creative, thanks for hanging out. Thanks so much, and I hope you enjoyed it, the stream, and I hope you have a good time studying and a good night. And see you later, Aussie Rob. Thanks for hanging out. So that's kind of funny and random that it's doing that. Now let's see what the other options are. Ooh, box of flowers that places a vase of ferns. Well, at least it's close. This, it's a horse's head. What is it actually? Looks like it's placing like paper or something. I put it up here. Yeah, it's like a, a page from one of the journal entries in the game. Huh. I think it looks like a Mei Yin journal page, if I was to hazard a guess. Let's go put it on the glass table over here. I'm just curious. That I bet that would let us see it. There! Oh, look at that! Hey, it is actually the Stegosaurus. Oh my gosh, they randomized it! That's pretty cool! Look at that! They randomized it because, yeah, I'm not cycling through different options. That is really cool. If they had that as like a standalone thing, that would that would be super fun to play around with. Little bits of clutter like that just make a base look so much more realistic. That is cool. 
Okay, I really like that. Even if it looks like a horse's head. Okay, let's go back over here then. And we've got... I need a wall to put this on. So let's get a wall. Oh, I've got some here. Oh! I bet these are from this mod too. Just notice in the vanilla stone op... Um, there's some other options here, but looks like they are also broken. Yeah, so these haven't been fixed since last time Wildcard forked all the structure mods. Hmm. Different textures here. This one we can see better, definitely. Oh. oh, it actually places as a little shop sign. It's pretty cool. And this. Uh, I don't. You play. Oh, it's placing down below. Ooh. So this is like a shelf. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like, I like. Okay. And now here's the... I bet all the engrams kind of got mixed up somehow. Yeah, that's why things are placing as other things. Because here's the potted fern that was placing with the flower box. So is this going to place... As a flower box instead? No, it thinks it's a foundation. Oh, it is a foundation. Well, there's the rustic foundation that's supposed to go with this mod. Hmm. It's kind of hard to snap them together, though, when they think they're a potted fern. A potted fern with um, identity issues, apparently. Yeah. Here's the note. What are you actually? Yeah, this one is labeled dossier. But it's it's also thinks it's a foundation. Yep. Okay, that's kind of hilarious. Not all that useful, but kind of hilarious. <laughs> This is the kind of thing that happens sometimes when mods break. Okay. Well, definitely some cool stuff. I hope the modder comes back and fixes it. I'll have to leave them a note after the stream. But now, let's try out one that I know actually does work and is super fun. Let's pop out our, our medieval structures. Let's go down a vault and put pieces in there. Where did I get this from? No. Okay. Mm. All right, or you know what? Ones that I have on here that I haven't yet had a look at, I think I should let you guys vote. So let's have a poll. We have the plaster structure set which is for like modern style buildings. 
We also have Klinger Additional Rustic Building, which I have used before, but from what I understand, it's been updated since last time I used it. There may be some different pieces, and it is just a really cool mod. I would, um, yeah, it'd be fun to combine with some of these others, potentially. There's also Klinger Additional Reinforced Concrete Building, which is another one for more modern style building. And then there is RR Medieval Structures. And then, I mean, this one's kind of random. It 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 is actually a building mod of some type, but it is called Skybound Airships and More. So apparently with that mod, you can build airships. So let's do a poll here. Let me move the mic so I can actually type. I need to find a way to, somewhere to put my mic so that it's not covering my keyboard. Oh, it's not letting me do more than one. Okay, well, you know what, then? I'm going to combine two of them here. Since they're both ones that I have used before. But they'd be fun to combine. There we go. All right. And while you're, while you all are voting on that, I'm going to take a look at a couple of the other deco mods I've got on here and see. Okay. This one actually does have some building pieces too. Interesting. Inches. Okay, let's see. I think this one must just have a crafting table then. Let's see if I can find it. Ooh. Um, it's called Outdoor Decor, and it would appear it does have an outdoor decor station. And it looks like the modder doesn't have any pictures of the mod. Well, there's like two pictures. Um, But I think that's a different one. There, were, there was only like two pictures. So maybe we will take some nice pictures and send them to the modder. Okay, let's see. Find a blank space here. Actually, let's kind of go over here, I think. And I'm going to have to go find some resources because if I'm crafting it in here, usually you can't just use the creative menu. Ooh, those are some pretty greenhouse pieces. Very pretty. Okay, let me look up the spawn codes to spawn in. Oh, geez. Fertilizer, cementing, uh, paste, wood. Just make sure. Sometimes they also kind of hide them in the Ingrams list so that they also show up in creative mode. Uh, nope. Plant? Nope. Oh, 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 what is this? OD. Oh, OD out green, greenhouse tier of <sighs> outdoor decor. But I believe. I thought that was just going to be an Ingram just to unlock the whole thing. 
but it gave me 20 of an item. Let's see. Yeah, I, I think that is supposed to just be... That is supposed to just be an um, an Engram that a player would unlock that would then unlock all of the greenhouse tier in this in this mod. So this isn't actually an item. It, it just automatically gave me 20 of them because that's what happens when you click on some double click on something in the creative menu. All right, so we do actually need to get resources for this. See what all I'm going to need. A lot of cementing paste, crystal, metal, wood, and fertilizer appear to be pretty much all of it. Okay, so arcids.net is really handy for looking because you can search and you can look up um, spawn codes and things. Let's see, cementing paste, there's that one. You edit that real quick so that it will be a hundred of them instead of just one or even better let's do a thousand and then it'll just give me whatever the max is which is probably less than a thousand but I don't know what it is okay. and then crystal do the same thing pop it on a notepad doc over here and then we need a metal ingots there they are Okay, and then what was the last one? Wood. Well, there's easier and more fun ways of getting large amounts of wood. So let's just grab the code for cementing paste. Yeah, I guess 100 is the max. Here, let's just sit here. For a second, giving myself a whole bunch of cementing paste. Oh, you were playing with the airships mod last night? That's so cool, Super Doom. I would love to see what you did with it. For sure. Okay. Okay, so we will take a look at this one, and then when I'm done this one, I will take a look at the poll and see what y'all chose to be the next one. I'm, I think when I wiped this server and restarted it uh, with the different mod map, I think that it erased my custom I and I as well because these things should be stacking higher than this. Be careful not to spam this too fast because at least with ASE there was a glitch that would sometimes happen if you were using the creative menu um, or like the console thing if you were using it too many times in quick succession it would like eventually just freeze up and it wouldn't even let you open the console anymore at all so I had to learn to do it slower than I would normally like to. Okay. And then we're getting a whole bunch of wood. What I usually like to do is I just 
grab some wood behemoth gates and place them and demolish them. That's more fun than sitting there spamming stuff. In fact, I think I could even demolish them with the gun. If I demolish them with the gun, though, does it give me the stuff? It does. Okay, good. There we go. And then we've also got some stone thatch and fiber. All the slots are full. Fine, I'll put a vault down. Just for you. Since you're gonna be picky. Okay, then we're gonna put the vault on top of the table since it can't go on the ground, apparently. There we go. Now we should be able to craft all of the things. Let us craft one. Oh, the fertilizer. Dang it. Fertilizer. This, yeah, this doesn't stack, so I'm not going to be able to get too much of it all at the same time. Okay. Oh, pelt? You need pelt to make that one? <sighs> I know, I know, they're just trying to make it balanced. It's so much handier, the one that just had tokens for everything. <laughs> Which ones have I made? Okay, yes, I think I've got all of the different greenhouse pieces. Just need all the plants now. And that should be about everything. <sighs> yes. Or that.
There we go. Kind of, kind of nice when a mod just has a very defined, simple list of all of the things. Now this one doesn't have foundations because, I mean, you, you wouldn't make foundations out of glass anyway, right? Let's just do stone. We'll do the a ASR stone, I guess. Ooh, there's a hay rustic wood loading foundation. That's kind of fun. Okay. Uh, Judy, my next stream will be Friday. I My typical streaming schedule has been Mondays and Fridays, but, you know, sometimes that varies, and I rescheduled this one to Wednesday for one thing, because the big patch that Wildcard dropped that forked everything, and then also because um, Aaron Longstaff was going to join. And Wednesday was the only day that was going to work for him, but then it ended up not working out anyway. So that is unfortunate, but it will happen at some point. All right. Get a nice big little air, big little nice area of foundations to play with. And then let's grab Are the regular walls. Yeah, these are the walls. Okay. That's gonna hold on just a second here. Gotta put them in spectrum order. It's a thing that I must do. I don't make the rules. And there are also sloped walls and sloped roofs. We will add those in a minute, I guess. All right. And there are different options. We've got greenhouse, red greenhouse wall, black frame, terracotta frame, green and gold frame. Let's take a look. So there's the black frame, terracotta frame. Oh, it changes the color? said red, but it... Okay. Okay, and then that's got the marble material. Green and gold. Alright. And that is also purple. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look at the other ones. Yeah, this one has a little bit of issues also, but it looks it's like most of the pieces work, like the black works, would, and that's what I'd be most likely to use anyway. Okay, so the cyan works there. Oh, and that one, it turns to green when you change the frame. That's funny. Yeah, and this one broken. Okay. But we have all of these options to choose from. Nice. Very nice. And I didn't see any doorways, so it looks like you'd probably have to use a regular doorway. They may be planning on adding it later. Uh, what was the name of this one again? Outdoor Decor. And who is the modder behind Outdoor Decor? Is it anybody that... I am familiar with their work. Let's take a peek and see. Pop open the Nitrat, I mean the Curse Forge page. There we go. Uh, glitch underscore DK. Don't think I know them. But it, it is a work in progress. This is the same modder who made wall and floor decor, if you've used that one. And they do have a Discord. The Discord link is in the is on the CurseForge page. So that is good to know. They are 
adding things onto it as time goes on. Oh, wait, nope. I'm just going to do black frames on everything. I do like these colors. Let's just make a little rainbow greenhouse, shall we? Let's start this one over here. bits. Let's take a look at the roofy bits. Actually, let's pop them out over here. Okay, so yeah, they, I figured those would just look like the walls, basically. Nothing too amazingly different, but they are really nice and colorful. I like that a lot about Okay, let's actually try. You know, I'm gonna try a little trick here. I don't know if this will work or not. We shall see. And let's grab colors too from ASR. Okay, I'm gonna grab these guys. I'm going to see if I can make sort of a shelfy type situation. See if we can put like a shelf going down the middle. Fun fact about me, my uh my parents actually have our small farmers, small organic farmers, and they have a big greenhouse. A lot of gardeners in my family, so I have fond memories of the smell of tomato transplants as a young child and stuff like that. Okay, let me snap this. Okay, you'll go that way. A lot of times you can force it to go where you want if you put one opposite first. Okay. Ah, nope. Won't stay unless that is there. Okay. I want it at the half height. I think what I'm going to need to do, actually, let's snap the pillar at that height as well. Then it should be supported. Uh, and then can I pick this up? Nope. Not going to be a thing you're going to let me do. Okay, fine. Let's do this differently then. We will just go like that. Actually, what am I doing? There's so many nice variants of ASR pillars, so let's play with them, shall we? Looks like the little bit of stuff has been changed about ASR. There's like seeing, oh, the different angles are 
on there. And that is so cool, though. I love that there's so many different angles of pillars in ASR, but then you can hit T to cycle through pillar widths and variants. And my favorite are the beams. I love the beams. All right, we'll see you. See you next time, Super Doom. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Now let's put some of these plants out on the shelf in our little greenhouse. Um, I think the door will be on this side. <coughs> you know what? Actually, it could be on this side. <coughs> Man, this tickle just will not quit. Oh, look, it's an otter giving you a flower. It's been one thing after another all winter. Ooh, that's a big one. Bunny ears cactus, huh? Oh, and there's variants on it? Oh, different sides? It's nice. Oh, wow. <clears throat> okay, the fact that this is happening in so many mods makes me think that it's another thing case of like wild card moving files around or something and messing them up because yeah that's not the right thing yeah these are mixed up but i mean they're all cool it just might take a little bit of figuring out to figure out how to get the one that you actually wanted okay that one is what it says it is that one <laughs> is not Oh, and that's this one thinks it's a wall. It's a wall. That one thinks it's wood stairs. All of these identity issues among these pieces. Ooh, the orchid is really pretty. I'm sure this will be fixed. Probably pretty soon. They're probably just waiting for Wildcard to update the dev kit again or something like that. So, if somebody is watching this after it's live, there is a very good chance that this issue will have been fixed by then. Not that it's going to be so close there. Oh, I, I was hitting the wrong button. That's why I was doing the same one over and over. That would explain it. Okay, and more snails. And more snails. Cute little teensy snails. Seems like usually the first one is what it's actually supposed to be. And then it's the other variants that have gotten scrambled yeah there's the little buddha ones hmm so funny okay Is 
this one have variants? I didn't notice. Okay. So yes, once again, same pattern. The first one is what it says it is. What is the second one? It is something different. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm always kind of fascinated by how these kinds of things work. It's kind of fun finding these different little funky glitches and stuff. And we've got roses and flower vases. And then this one. I've got one of those kind of plants. Those kind of plants, I forget what they're called. If you know what it's called, put it in the chat. But um, they're actually a weed in tropical uh, climates. I've seen them used as a ground cover in Hawaii and stuff. But they, they are also a really good house plant because they're very hard to kill because... I am not the best at taking care of houseplants. Yeah, it's also mixed up. It thinks that are thinks that it's trying to place walls. And that one doesn't just doesn't place either. Okay. And another snail, a snail with a lily instead of with the succulent. Water lily looking thing. Well, there's the bay orchid. It looks like you can place these at different angles, which is always fun for different decor options. Make them all kind of topsy-turvy. It looks like this, the hitbox on this might actually be a sphere, which is kind of fun. Then if you like cover it with lights, you can make like a disco ball. Well, I don't think we need to finish the greenhouse roof. You get the general gist of it. Oh, let's check this little, let's check this little vase and then the otter. Tulips. That one doesn't work. That one does. Okay. Um, and there's no other option than the otter. Why would you need any other options when you got a cute little otter like that? Okay. Okie dokie, what are we doing next? Let's see. Oh my goodness, we've got a three-way tie. We need a tiebreaker. Uh, AK9, welcome, welcome, by the way. And the description on those pieces, um, they, I, I saw this in some other mods I was testing earlier. The descriptions are match what the first item is but then the additional variants have somehow gotten scrambled i suspect it's a it's a wild card bug sometimes when they change things they break things in the mods if there was a bunch of mods that depended on files that they change or if they move files around or stuff it, it yeah 
they're the ones that break the mods and then the modders have to go back in and fix them but they can't even start looking for a fix for it until wildcard updates the dev kit so that they can even do it so one of the many reasons why i have the greatest of respect for modders is because of the amount of frustration that they must have to put up with dealing with wild card constantly all right um so we have a three-way tie between rr medieval plus clinger rustic clinger uh no plaster structures and skybound airships hmm well we could try to combine all four of those see what would happen with that Let's see if we can make a crazy airship. Okay, is there... Does it have a folder? What is this one? No, that's... I don't know what that one is for. Rockwell's Raft. If you're still around, Super Doom, I know you said that you've... You use this mod. Do you happen to remember where they hide all of these structures for it because i don't want to risk missing any if i search for them i can probably find it but i i don't want to miss any of them scaffold i don't know what this is from either but i'll take a look at that there's a sloop a schooner i don't know what this is from either but we'll pop it out and have a look Oh, oops. Oh, yeah. Don't be a dummy. Drag the Ingram. Um, I could have sworn I crafted that. Why is it not giving it to me? Might have to be crafted at the shipyard. Let's search for that. Hey, Gex! Ah, oh, somebody came along and broke the tie, huh? Our <clears throat> our medieval and clinger rustic. All right, well, I'm sure we'll run across more of the ship pieces as we go along. We will play with those <clears throat> later. For now, so let's pop out the our medieval stuff and the clinger rustic stuff. Okay. These rope structures look really cool. But those are new since last time I played with this mod. I, I actually have three different Clinger mods on this server right now. On my test server. I've got um, Clinger concrete building, Clinger additional rustic building, and also Clinger additional structures. So I think these are probably from the Clinger additional structures which is mostly decor and stuff i think yeah rubs crop plot furniture Ooh. got those already i love the greenhouse pieces from this mod i've seen them before but haven't had as much of a chance to play with them as I would like. The wood for this one is really interesting because it's a it's a different color than the base game wood. It's pinker kind of. So that can make it a little tricky to mix and match. But it can be done. And I can show you guys how to mix building mods. Ooh, there's wood, stone, and metal deadly storage. That's pretty dang cool. And then regular structures. These are all variations on the base game stuff. Medium stone wall, stone gateway 3x3, stone gateway 2x2. Nice. 
and wood two by two and three by three gateways. Very good to know. All right. Oh, this is, oh, this is the RR stuff. Okay. So actually I will search her. It is handy that she uses a code like that. I mean, her, her screen name is Nanea. It's not RR, but she starts all of her mods with RR, which makes it really easy to find them in search. You just search RR and you'll see all her mods. Okay. So she's got her own building gun. We'll make one of those. And then there's this structure smithy. Well, we'll get all the walls and all the foundations and all of the everything. Two different types of windmills now. I think there was only one when I last time I looked at this. She is also a modder that has a discord, by the way. And I mean, she's very committed to her craft as well. She actually has been sick lately and was in the hospital. But even while she was in the hospital, she got a friend of hers to recook all of her mods so that they were up to date and were going to work properly for people. So that's some commitment for sure. she's definitely the ones one of the ones that i trust to keep her mods working if there's any way possible that she can basically i trust her mods to work more than i trust the base game to work wild card breaks stuff all the time way more than some mod authors do <laughs> so yeah you can tell I'm a little salty at wildcard at the moment. <laughs> I am not impressed with how they changed the female character model. And of course, how they keep breaking things for the modders. Make sure I don't get black boxed here, max out my inventory. This is a lot of things. All right, that appears to be all of the things. All right, so let's, I don't know. Let's just make like a castle fun house or something out of all these things. <sighs> okay. Oh, I didn't mean to get the reinforced concrete workbench. Drop that one. Okay, now foundations. Do you see a two-way tie? Well, right now, what I'm looking at, it says medieval RR Medieval Clinger and Rustic is at 38%, and Plaster Structures and Skybound Airships are tied at 25%. You may have to click to open the whole poll. Here, let me just end the poll. Here we go. Okay, Foundations. So she, uh, so we've got the rustic rock foundation, the floating foundation. We might try that a little later. And then we've got all of the RR foundations. She's got wood or the regular one, which is basically a plastic texture. Then she's got stone and wood. And does, oh, the clinger ones, I think they actually have, um, I think that they actually have the triangle included as a variant of the square. Okay. And now I have not looked at the Klinger wood ones. I mean, uh, stone ones before. Last I played with this, there was only the wood. So let's take a look and see what these look like. 
Oh, they're very yellow. Hmm. Interesting. They're very yellow. The wood has kind of a pink undertone. I'm gonna have to use some color theory here. These are nice, really dark wood. I think all of these look like wood on the top. So yeah, the, the, the different foundations only look different on the sides. Okay, so we've got dark brown. We've got kind of a peachy pinkish sort of wood. We've got kind of a mustardy colored stone. What this really does need a cool color to balance it out or I could paint things. Let's pop out some ASR foundations though to start with. The base game stone is a, very much of a blue gray. So let's see how that looks. Is this the same color as the vanilla? Let's check and see. Yes, it would appear that it is. Okay. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of that mustardy yellow color. I want to bring it back more towards neutral. And the way it works with color theory is in order to make a neutral, you have to add a little bit of the color that is the opposite on the color wheel. And um, so let me get some paint sprayers. And ASR has a paint sprayer now, which is way better than the base game one. Excited to give that a try. I only got to try it very briefly a while ago. Okay, now let's just select all of the different ones. Let's see, right mouse or left Okay, so right mouse button to, okay, you just choose the color regions you want to affect in here, and then there's all the colors. So on the color wheel, the opposite of yellow is purple, and so I'm going to pick, I don't want it to be obviously super bright purple, I want it to be more of a neutral color, so I'm going to pick a pretty light purple. Let's try this frost. See how that looks? Oh, that's just very, very purple. Okay. Let's try a different color. Let's try ice. It's still looking really purple. Let's see. These dyes don't really behave consistently either. They kind of do different things. There's some of them are more intense, some of them are not. Well, that one definitely makes it more neutral. Very dark, but more neutral. That one is the color... What is that called? That one is... Haze. It's like a purpley gray. So that makes a really nice neutral gray. Let's see... We have any other options that's kind of interesting that one looks really orange do i have soap there is soap oh, i don't have any soap with me though can i make that in the crafting menu no all right let's look up the spawn code then Gonna have to search, I guess. There it is. Copy the spawn code.
Did it work? Oh no, it didn't copy the whole thing. That's missing a character. There. There, that worked. Okay. Now let's grab. It showed it on the list a second ago. Oh, there it is. Now it's at the beginning of the list. Okay. Ah. And if we wanted to push it more towards the cool side of the spectrum, then we could also go for more of a purpley, a light purpley blue instead of a warmer, uh, like more of a magenta purple. Let's try this lavender first though. Okay, I think that one, that's the one we just tried. Let's try mauve. No, that's very rose colored. See, it looks completely different on these colors though than it looks on the base game texture. Where's a more neutral looking blue? Try marine. That's probably going to be really bright. Yeah, very green. It's actually more of a teal, but mixed with the yellow, it looks very green. What about a very, very light? Okay, this one's called overcast. That one's not bad. Okay, that's that's what it looks like without the yellow underneath. Let's grab some soap. Hmm. It is corn flour. No, I'm just not digging that. Let's try going the other direction and see what happens. There's cotton candy. It's very warm. Thistle. Oh, it makes a very good orange. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm just going to go with the haze. I like that one. That way we'll have like a dark stone and a light stone. Okay. And then the clinger stuff, if I decide to mix in any like ASR pieces, those are the base game color, which is a very golden brown wood. So let's see, that's why these clash. That's what makes them kind of hard to mix together is because colors tend to look better if they either contrast or they're, um, th th there needs to be some contrast. They can't be this similar, but just a little different. It just doesn't look right. It makes it look like it's accidental. If you purposely make them different enough that there's a good amount of contrast, then it looks in more intentional. At least that's my theory. Okay, so I do like the color of the clinger ones though, so I might just try to bump this to more of a neutral instead of painting that. Oh, no, stop it. Dang it. Uh,
I did this experiment once before and I can't remember what color I ended up using. But I think it was one of the shades of purple. One of the really, really light ones. No, not that one. Was it haze for that one too? Might have been. No, that's too dark. Not a fan. Not a fan. And that's too purple for what I'm looking for. I try. It is very yellow. And I might be able to go more of a blue. See what that. That'll probably end up being too greenish, but. We can try it. It's more of a light gray. It's not bad. And that one's very blue gray. Now you know why I don't usually get out the paints, because if I get out the paints, I get out the paints. I like my colors. I have been a color theory nerd since I, before I even knew what color theory was. Hmm. Should do a video some sometime on, you know, what the eighties love for neon and Lisa Frank taught me about color theory. Because I actually did learn a lot about color theory from that. What is this wisp color? It is one that doesn't show up is what it is. Hmm. So many colors and I can't find them. <laughs> I can't find one that I like. Hmm. Ooh, as the viewers leave in droves because I'm being boring. <laughs> hmm. Oh. What is this one gonna look like? Very, very grassy green. try painting these i i tried to get these to coordinate one time before i can't i thought that i painted the the base game ones but maybe i painted these ones so if i wanted to warm up this lightly pinky sort of color i think i need a very very light like a peach or salmon maybe it's already really pink though. I want to tip it a little bit more golden. I think it's close enough already that it I should probably just pick a yellow family color. Yeah, the latte. Now there you go. That's with latte. Now those match. Those match really well. Okay. So if I do end up mixing and matching some base game wood, then that means I'll have to paint all of the clinger wood, which I don't really fancy doing. So I'm probably just not going to use it. Um, let's see. Where did my other gun go? My multi-tool. There it is. All right. Now let's lay out a little castle. It's going to be more like a fun house than an actual, like any kind of realistic sort of castle. 
um, because yeah, it's these colors are a little wild, and we've got a lot of different pieces to pop out and play with. This is going to be dark. So for a filler contrast, I'm going to want to use some of the Klinger wood in here as well. This is one, two, five. Let's do six. These in the center. And then... Why did my music quit? I didn't give you permission to quit. I need a quarter. Let's do Yeah, that's good. From there. Wahaha. See one of my little tricks. Now we can if we can get it to snap, will you not snap in? You will not mesh in. Okay, fine. Then I'll use the ASR because I know that one will. Sometimes I like to have kind of a central aisle. Even if the, there are an even number of foundations across. I like that texture actually. Might go back and change all of it to that. But in an attempt to make things easier for beginner builders, some <clears throat> some modders will make their pieces not want to clip into each other. There are ways of kind of massaging them and trying to persuade them to clip through each other, but sometimes it is a little bit more stubborn. Actually, you know what? I want this stone one. But uh, Gimmelcad has listened to me bugging him and ranting him about different building things enough that he he actually I mean bless his heart I I he's a he's amazing. Um, he actually made it so that the pieces in Architect Structures Remastered are easier to clip into each other than vanilla pieces and most other modded pieces, so I'm kind of spoiled on that. You don't want to snap in there, do you? There we go. Now if he's come on now. You can do it. Fine, what if I pick up that one first and then put you down and then put that one back? Got a nice big square keep sort of thing. And then let's make some turrets in different sizes. Because turrets are fun. We like turrets. Okay. I think 
I'll do wait this one. Yeah, that it does have the triangle there as well. Let's do that. Let me do it with the gun in my hand. There we go. And this gets a little janky sometimes, but I don't mind a bit of jank myself. So. No, you don't. No, you don't. I want you to do the janky thing. See, like that. And then we can get some more triangles. And once again, why did my music quit? Just done playing synthwave, huh? No more synthwave? Um, fine then, how about some Western? That's good for that one. I want to make these turrets different sizes, so. And maybe we'll make like a make a bigger one in this corner here. And then a couple of different small ones. So one of the one of the principles of combining building mods is actually something I learned from flower arranging, which is that you you need to echo things. So if I just had this strip of gray stone running down the middle, it would look out of place and it wouldn't look like it matched or like it fit at all. But if I make sure to use that same color in a few other places around the build, then it it will look more intentional and it will it will tie it all together uh, this one doesn't have a triangle what oh, okay then okay. and then this one's gonna go out another row which one are we going to use for this? Let's give this RR texture a little bit of a test here. Because using all squares for this layer, I, I mean, the, the usual way people do a circle like this is that, you know, this row outwards, they would be putting triangles on all the spots where there were squares before, and then they'll be putting squares here. And that's a perfectly fine way of doing it, but I just don't like the fact that it'll then alternate walls that are two wide by walls that are one wide. Um, and so I found another way that I like to do it. Even if it is a little janky, if you snap something wrong enough times so that it's a pattern, then it's all good. There, so I instead of using any triangles in this row, this one's not going to behave. Another little trick is that if you use ceilings instead of foundations, a lot of times those are more willing to be snapped through other things. Okay, and then we've got a little gap here that is not, a, not the right size for a triangle or a square. And so what do we do with that, you may ask? And I would tell you, come closer, my child, and I shall share my secrets. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm just in a weird mood. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so I use triangles, but then I use two of them like this. So I put the crosshairs over one of the foundations and snap a triangle to that one. And then put the crosshairs over the other foundation and snap one to that one. 
And yeah, if I just did that once, that would look like a mistake. But if you do it a bunch of times, it's not a mistake. It's a pattern. It's just like real life, right? If you make a mistake enough times, it becomes a pattern. <sighs> Don't listen to me. I would give terrible advice, probably. You just do not want to cooperate there. There. Oh, no, no. It's not that spot. Okay. We're going to temporarily remove this one that is upsetting you so much. And we're going to Put a full foundation there. Do that. And the rest of this is gonna just basically kind of mesh in like like a so. That one is fine that away. Oh, that one was fine. And that one was fine. Those didn't need to be picked up. Dang it. Alright. Yeah, that's that's what I want. And then that stone triangles. There. Now it's a pattern. It looks cool, I think at least. And then in this corner here, to make this a mesh together, if we're not going to put a courtyard or something in the middle, I can just use a ceiling. Over here, let's also actually here. If we have a quarter ceiling, we could use a quarter. We might have quarters as a variant of the regular ceiling. Let us see. Okay, put the gun away. There we go. Nope, it just has different options for, I think that's the underside or the pattern on it or something. Okay. You're probably not going to let me snap. You know, you're not going to snap in there. You refuse. Stubborn thing that you are. Could do that, but no. Let's get, uh, let's get a stone quarter. Let's get an ASR stone quarter, and apparently I am slot capped. There, that's good enough for now. May change it later, but for now, that works. Okay, now we've got two different sizes of circles there. Let's do... Let's do a small, like... Um, hexagonal tower let's do like a couple on the front here that are symmetrical at least in size yes Like so. I could make those 12 sided, make them round. But that does make it difficult to get a doorway in there. It is possible, though. Hmm. I think I'll do that over here. 
we'll do it a little bit differently. And to balance the visual weight, since that one's so much bigger, I think I can get away with putting another one over on this side. So for this, I think I'll use a combination of Clinger and ASR. And I'll show you a little trick getting a small 12 sided circle you just gotta um, put down triangles and then put down a square and then back to triangles you see that forces the triangle to be off center with the rest here and then I can pick up the square and then I'm, I just need to try to follow the pattern around the circle like this. Come on now. You can do it. There you go. And you can do this. You need to come back here. Come on. May end up using a ceiling in a couple of spots. Because yeah, they don't like meshing through each other in ways they were not designed to do. But at least one from each row needs to be a foundation so that they have foundation support because they are meshed through each other, but they are not snapped together. They are essentially two hexagons meshed through each other. So both hexagons need to have foundation support. And even with base game vanilla pieces, vanilla um, ceilings are easier to mesh through each other than foundations. So sometimes it's nice to switch to that. And then I was thinking to make this one a slightly different size from the front ones. What if I pull out some quarters? Now, both of these mods, I know they have quarters, but they are they must be naming them something different or they're in a different menu or something, or in a different piece. Is this? Oh yeah, there it is. There's a quarter. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that one. Not that one. You're snapping to the wrong one, you silly thing. Well, you know what? If you're going to do that, then I'm going to switch to ASR because ASR behaves better than you. So there. That's the other reason I usually end up mixing mods is because they tend to have different rules and do things differently. And so sometimes I want the behavior of a different building mod in a particular spot. And then, ooh, you know what I could do here? I wonder if I could, no, that wouldn't, that's not going to cooperate, but this actually could make a cool pattern. I haven't really done this before with the quarter ceilings. This is kind of like that. See? Experiment and play around and learn new things every day. Good. That will make an interesting tower, I think. I am interested to see how that will turn out. Okay, and... Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to hatch right there. No, thank you. Uh, those 
those these ended up almost being the same size though uh, whatever it's a fun house castle i'll make them different heights and then they'll balance each other out okay so almost done with the foundations let's just do a little bit of like a patio type of a thing out here like a grand entryway all right oh yeah this wall this mod has a really cool wall vault but i don't have any walls up yet so i am just use this guy place this just so we know what it looks like this is the smithy that you'd craft these pieces in it's very cool looking hmm All right now we've got a lot of walls to choose from here so let's just put a variety of them down here and see what we come up with i really love the ones with the round windows that's the wood one come on can i see the tooltip on that one wood there we go okay when it, so that's plaster and um that's also plaster but this is a smaller one leave that for now let's do door frame no, window wall and stone wall with a window is there a stone wall with a rounded window as well this netting one is really interesting looking. okay i am also going to need to mix in some of the vanilla stone Texture, just so it doesn't look weird. Need to keep echoing that material and bringing it forward into the project. Okay. That needs a bigger doorway, but let's say the door is a tower. There. This needs a this needs a triangle there for me to snap this to. jump now <laughs> hey phoenix firestar thank you. um is my chat not refreshing because 
Hey, Mimic, how's it going? Okay, a uh, Meltuck renewed birds of a feather for five months, and Phoenix Firestar renewed at little birds for six months. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And Mimic, you were gifted a membership earlier in the stream, so that's why your name is that lovely bright green color. You can thank Mikey next time you see him around. Mikey was delighting in making me jump out of my skin several times earlier on in the stream. Bless his heart. Okay. Yeah, I need this guy. I'm getting myself into a little bit of a mumbling to herself and building sort of phase here. So a lot of the viewership of the stream has left, I think, because I am because it uh, I, it may not be the most exciting part of a stream. Hmm. No, that doesn't look right. I don't like that. It's always tricky trying to get something to fit when it doesn't want to fit. Because I have done janky things. I've done unspeakable things to it. What if we change up the material and do that? I think that looks decent. So there's going to be a doorway there. Then this little bit here, I could put a plant pot over it, or... Hmm. You know what I could do? Let's try this. Let's just do several different ones around here. Well, oh, so super cool things. Yeah, we did. Okay, let me take you, take you back over the other mods that I tested. So this one was okay this one was from a mod called outdoor decor uh, it does also have roof pieces and ceilings and sloped walls but i didn't get around to popping those out but it's got all of these cool stained glass color greenhouse pieces and it also has all of these cool potted plants and such and this little otter who's giving giving you a flower very cute I have noticed a particular glitch in several different mods, though. Um, there is a mod that this... Uh, there is a a glitch that... It, it's wild cards. They broke something a couple of weeks ago. There was a big hullabaloo in the modded builder community because a wild card broke all the building mods. Nothing was snapping. It was a mess. Most of, once Wildcard got around to updating the dev kit, most of the modders were able to fix fix their mods and make them snap again. But this modder apparently either hasn't gotten around to it yet or something. So anyway, yes, uh, the pieces were not wanting to snap to each other. They were just placing randomly, at least those foundation pieces, which is kind of funny. And also there's a weird thing that keeps happening. And I have seen this in uh, one, two, Three different mods, so I don't think that this is a particular modder, because they're all by different modders. But there is a glitch that is apparently happening where things get mixed up. Where I thought I was placing down one thing, and it placed down something else instead. So, yeah, you can see that earlier on in the stream if you want. Like here, I thought I was placing down a pot, and instead it placed down this picture which I wanted to see the rest of the picture, so I tried to place a pot up here, and instead I got this big picture here. Um, yeah, so that kept happening with different decor pieces and with a lot of the plant pots in that mod. And then this one, look at this insanity. Look at this. Look at it. This is crazy. This is the Chinese architecture mod. And most of these buildings, the vast, all the buildings that don't look crazy in patchwork, they're all prefabs. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for actually playing on a survival playthrough series type of server. 
But like I was telling people earlier, for an event server, it would be super fun. Imagine setting up a Chinese city and then playing paintball or capture the flag or, you know, have some kind of fun event. I think that could be a amazing. And also all kinds of decor. We got all of these shopping outdoor market bazaar type things and all these amazing statues. It really is incredible. Yeah, this mod is three gigabytes in size. It is a huge mod. But yeah, lots of decor, steaming plates of food. It makes me hungry. It makes me want to go for Chinese food because Chinese food is the best. Seriously. I love Asian foods, Asian cuisines, all of them better than American style casseroles every day of the week. Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Indian, Taiwanese, Vietnamese. I love them all. They all have the best food. White people food is boring. And yeah, so lots of fun stuff in that mod. All these trees, which, yeah, there's a texture glitch that uh, uh, Nikatis was actually posting about it on Twitter that a latest patch broke his redwood trees on Svartalheim. And it appears to have done the same thing to these trees as well. They're looking very psychedelic. The weird thing is, you know, from a distance they look fine and then you get close and it's like a Van Gogh painting or something. They're all like moving and it's very strange. And the green trees are kind of the opposite. They look really trippy and weird from a distance, but then if you get up close, it stops and they look fine. I don't know. I do not know. Oh yeah, this mod even comes with tombs. Tombs that smoke. I think they're it's supposed to be crematoriums or something. But yes, lots and lots of cool stuff. Screens, decorations, more screens, gongs and drums, which are reskins of the in-game war drums, so you can actually play them. So cool. Yeah, the texture plant texture issue seems to have affected these potted plants as well so that they're looking all pixelated. And there's a hot tub. Very, very fun. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah, these all of these big buildings are pre-builds. I haven't built anything really with this mod yet, the, but I was popping out the building pieces to take a look at them. So the crazy stuff you see the patchwork constructions, those are mine. So yeah, look at this. There's ceilings that look like water and some that look like grass. And there's these ornate dragon painted ceilings, all kinds of different brick and wood textures, plaster in two different colors. All of these interesting funky roofs. The roofs were snapping weird though. I think those are I think those might be dealing with the same glitch with the snap points or something, but they were not snapping like I was expecting them to. And yeah, over here where I was putting out all these different, the gates and doorways and stuff. I love that there's lots of different two by two doorways and gate frames. Oh, and look at this wall. Oh, this is actually a door. But yeah, it looks like a paper screen. The crazy thing is this paper screen door still looks better and is easier to see through than the original ASA greenhouse glass texture that was all wavy and corrugated. I would rather have that texture for greenhouse any day of the week. Some of them are a little odd looking though. Like some of these, I think that they look more like, you know, like the, the sticky contact paper that has a fake texture on it or wallpaper. Yeah, this looks like wallpaper brick and stone to me. 
but a lot of these are really cool. I do really like the plaster texture too. That looks really cool. But yeah, I mean, look at these things. These are crazy. Can you imagine playing paintball around all of this stuff? You wouldn't want to use this for an actual base though. This is what I mean about it being not balanced properly for a survival server. Yeah, this ginormous building costs three pieces of wood to make. Three pieces of wood. Yeah, um, it is a little dangerous though to put your base in a prefab anyway because this entire thing has only 6,250 hit points. So one decent size Alpha Raptor way over on the backside, um, smacking on it while you're not paying attention, and the entire thing could come crashing down all in one. So yeah, that's the thing with prefabs. They have their uses, but they also have their risks. These pillars are incredible though. I love these columns. Love, love, love those. And this bed. Oh my gosh. I Look at this. Look at it. Like the curtains are even moving. And it actually, like you can actually use it. And you can fast travel with it too. And they, of course, they had to make it with no collision so that you wouldn't get stuck in it. Very smart. Very smart. And this is a gateway. They even have a custom sound that they imported for their gateways. There is not very much about this mod online because this is a foreign language mod. I suspect that's the reason why. Um, and the different pieces are often not labeled what you would expect. So you kind of just have to browse because, you know, the mod author may have used Google Translate or something like that to write the descriptions. So all these cool bridges too. There's a ginormous city wall. All these gigantic gateways. All of this stuff. All in the same mod. It's just called Chinese Architecture. There's a few with that name, but it is the one with the most downloads. Um, something over 13,000 downloads as of the time of this stream. So, yeah. It would be super fun for an event server. Too big probably, though, for on a regular everyday server, unless you were doing a full-on themed RP playthrough. And, yeah, in that case, an admin could probably block the Engrams that were you know, a little crazy if you don't want your players making gigantic palaces for three pieces of wood. You could just block the Engram because there's only a couple of Engrams for them. All of those buildings are actually yeah, variants of... Uh, let's see, it's under structures. These two. These two structures here. All the big buildings are just those two. Um, and then you just hit R to cycle through the variants. One of those has 22 different variants. Isn't that crazy? So, yeah, I have a feeling that the modder who made this probably created it for their own event server or some kind of special event. Uh, be just judging from how it's balanced. Anyway, that's what I'd suspect. This one that I also looked at, uh, I love this one. This one is very well balanced, I think, and would be great to add to a regular server. It's got all kinds of cool looking modern stuff. It is called Shoko's Decor. And it has, in addition to all of this decor that you see and more, it also has a, a ton of cool, very colorful building pieces. And it has a dance floor. Mimic, what more could you want? It has a dance floor. <laughs> and it has a gun cabinet that will only hold guns and ammo. It's been coded so that it will only hold those. It's got all kinds of neon lights. This little laptop is actually the crafting table for the mod. 
got all of this artwork, individual letters that, yes, I use to spell out a friendly reminder to subscribe. <laughs> all of, and this is just a tiny sampling of the neon art that's in there. There's like a ton of it. Let's see. And, oh, it uses these tokens to craft stuff. This mod's in French, but you can usually make out what it, what things are. Mostly, usually, with a few exceptions. But um, all you do is you craft a bunch of these tokens. These Denor are crafted with one metal ingot and one silica pearl each. And then each of the different types of structures costs a different amount of those. So, yeah, I think that's really cool. And then if you demolish the structures, it gives you the tokens back. That also would make it nice for server admin. Like if you wanted to make these Dinor some kind of a reward for players, uh, or you could easily do that just by blocking that one Ingram for making those. So anyway, there's all kinds of different anime ones. And other ones, there's, uh, there's a scary movie one. <laughs> Ghost face. There's a bunch of Pokemon ones. Minecraft. Creeper. So much cool stuff. And yeah, there's the letters. So yeah, really super cool. This is, uh, I think this is apparently just a backdrop. It's like a white, plain white canvas. And it's like a backdrop that you can put behind the neon pieces if you want to have them. Um, not just on the wall. So yeah, Shoko's Decor. And there's this thing. Haven't figured out this thing. Don't know what it's supposed to do. What it does is it generates grasshoppers. I don't know what else it is supposed to do. But yes, it generates grasshoppers. Earlier when we looked in here, there was 50 some. Now there's 72. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all these grasshoppers. But they are being generated by this structure, which has slots for armor and whatnot, but you can't put anything in them. So it's like it was originally built on a reskin of either the um, the practice dummy thingy, or it was built on a reskin of like the armor loadout mannequin. One of those, but yeah. And it also has a tab for creatures. I don't speak French though. I can make out a little bit here and there because of, be you know, being Canadian, growing up in Canada, seeing French everywhere, but I don't know these words. Yeah. You can eat the grasshoppers as I found when I took them out and I tried to like, I don't know, let it go or interact with it in some way. No, it, I just ate it. But yes, I, I, I would rather not make a habit of eating grasshoppers. I could see feeding them to my dinos, maybe. Um, but other than that, I don't know what it is supposed to do. I think it might be supposed to... Like, oh, I, well, I picked it up anyway. I, I, It might be supposed to be like a generator or it might be like a hatchery or something. I don't know. Fonction passivement généré. Vous pouvez manger? Maybe it's like, maybe it's a self-filling feeding trough or something. That would be kind of cool. Feeding trough that fills itself with grasshoppers and for your creatures to eat. Maybe. There's those grasshoppers. There. I can't put them back. I don't want them. And this is the industrial grill. Oh, wait, no, no. This is the preserving bin, actually. This is the smoker. So this is for making your jerky. And check out the fabricator. It's a 3D printer. That makes so much more sense than the fabricator in game. It's a 3D printer. I love it so much. Or no, I'll put them in the fridge, I guess. There is a fridge over here, too. And sink. And yes, the stove works. That one is basically an industrial grill. 
but it's not on right now. So I don't think that thing is working as a generator. I do have a generator around here somewhere. Let me grab that and put it up. might have put it in this box ah yes I love this generator though look at it it's just a teeny little box that sits on the wall and yes So yeah, very, very fun little mod. Highly recommend Shoko's Decor. And this one, I didn't have really any of the issues that I was having with the other ones of certain things not working and stuff. Pretty much everything worked that I tried. There's a pool. It's just decorative, of course. It's not real water. And there's a hot tub. What more could you want? And all of these beautiful, colorful building pieces so yeah and and there's a shower which you probably need mimic right there see you turn it on there it makes water bubbly sounds there's a little radio that plays the arc christmas music there's an outdoor fireplace little table thingy so many fun things. A little incubator. And there was a wall here, but it disappeared. I must have uninstalled the mod that it was from. Uh, anyway. Yeah! Shoko's decor, people. Oh, oh, oh. I'll show you this. Look at these beds. All of these cool beds with different patterns. And this one on the end is a color-changing rainbow. Very cool. Alright. And then, over here, I am combining uh, Klinger's rustic structures along with pieces from um, RR Medieval uh, structures and also Architect Structures Remastered little bit from that and yeah just kind of mumbling and rambling about color theory and combining mods and stuff like that so yeah okay I think what I'm gonna want to do here should have moved you know I think I think I'm going to move this and then I'll have an easier time with it and it will make my picky side much happier. That's the medieval stone founded edition on Dachyon. Okay, there. Now we've got the nice corner. Now I want kind of a diagonal line. Maybe like this. Almost, but no cigar. You might just have to replace it. Which I don't usually do if I can avoid it, but maybe necessary. It's a Tesla power wall, yeah. <laughs> hey, Dark Wolf 25 Gaming, welcome, welcome. 
And no worries. It's a stream, not a job, so you're not late. I'm just glad you show up when you can. Okay, oh. You know what? Just a second, though. My computer is heating up this room to about a thousand degrees. Let me go open the door. Also, plug in my soundboard here, which is down to 10% battery. I meant to hit this one. That one's usually appropriate for most situations. Okay. Oh, and Mimic. This is the one I played in the stream last night. <laughs> A couple of times. <laughs> How perfect is that? Um, that is our mutual friend Soap Goddess, for those who are not aware. She's very funny and very quotable. So. Okay. Oh yeah, this I wanted to pop this out and see what this is. I don't even know what mod this is from. But if I get a look at it, I might be able to figure it out. Let's see. Oh, whoa, what? Okay, I think this is one of the ones that got scrambled. This is this may be from that med from that medieval mod over there. Yeah, I bet it is from this one. That's pretty cool. The awning. And what? It was there for a second and then I somehow made it go away. Okay. I didn't make it go away. It just went away. That's very strange. But if I click really fast, will it place? No, it's only going to tantalize me with images of apples and then disappear. Very strange. And it won't even let me cycle to the next variant. Okay, that is... That is very well and surely busted. Okay. It is unfortunate. It is not the modder's fault. Most likely it is Wildcard who broke some, who changed some kind of file that they depended on for that mod. That's usually what happens. If you were not aware, now you know. Maybe, oh, you know what? I bet I could do. Let's try fence supports. Oh, come on. Won't you give me that straight diagonal angle that I want? You won't. Basically, go... They really... They really nerf these. These used to be so amazing in ASC. The fence foundations that you can use to make a 24-sided circle. Can't make 24-sided circles anymore. At least not using the fence foundations. Very unfortunate. The most you can do with these is 12 sides. But anyway... the square. This is just a little bit bigger than a triangle. What I might be able to do use pillars. Just finished playing Fortnite with your brother. Oh, that's nice. Awesome. Yeah, I, are you enjoying playing with mods on Xbox, Dark Wolf? I was so excited about console players getting to finally play with mods. That's pretty much the one good thing about ASA. 
at this point. I think that this is probably... This will be good enough, I think. If I put it there, triangle there, and then I will only have one triangle that will need to be meshed through a bit. That should be fine. And this one was... Okay, we were using the Klinger wood and the RR stone foundations and the ASR stone. Do something different here, probably. Yeah, yeah this... Oh, oh, it will kind of go through. But really, I would rather it snap to square. Let's try Let's try Will you snap bitter to that? No No, you will not Okay, well, how about if I pick you up and put that one first? No Well, you know what? ASR Behaves better than you, so we're going to use ASR. So there. Like a so. And then we will make the... We need a square off of this. Uh, let's see which I'm trying to remember what colors I was using for this particular tower to make the whole thing balance. That yellow stone in there is gonna be painted. Maybe I should use some more of that though. Because you want to echo the same color different places around the structure. Otherwise it will look out of place. Let's do that. All right. Offshoot from there. And then we can do a triangle. Triangles in a hexagon. This is going to be a simpler one. I'm not going to go nuts with making a 12, making like a, as big a circle as I possibly can. Where did I put the Where did Where did my triangle foundations go? That's the one. It's to drop them or something. Actually, those are going to be really dark after they're painted. And I want some contrast. So let's use these, actually. And then let's go ahead and do that painting. Make sure we are on the right color. This is the ASR.
paint gun and it is so much better than the base game paint gun look at that they've got a nice little menu you can choose the colors from and we did a whole little thing earlier with color theory to figure out what color to use to bring this bright yellow into more of a neutral color so this is a grayish purple since purple and yellow are color wheel opposites they balance each other out and we are left with a neutral color so see you learn all kinds of things hanging around on my streams you never know yeah, that, I like that so much better than that yellow. I mean, it seems that Klinger really likes yellow and, you know, bless him, that's fine. That's, you know, it's his mod, but I do not so much care for it. This is what that color looks like, though, if it doesn't have a yellow backdrop. Okay. Yes, I like that. And this is going to be smaller, more along the lines of a gazebo, I think. And then th these will be towers. These will be gatehouse towers. They'll just be a little, little, just for fun, to sort of castle. Okay. And you never know what kind of music you're going to get on my streams either. I mean, now we got a mariachi band, so... You know, nothing but the best for y'all. I don't want that. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. I like the round door frames. And I think this gate frame actually also has a round variant. I think. Could be wrong, but I think so. And some more of the different wall variants there are some lovely round windows window walls Let's grab some of those and yeah a huge round window wall okay What's, uh, is this a regular size wall? It is. Okay, just the window is really big. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, oh, and I do need some solid walls, too. Hmm. Let's do this. There is the medieval stone. Now I'm going to do kind of the main keep wall, the main structure wall first. But actually, I think I want to do stone on the bottom layer. Gives it more of that, more of that secure castle kind of vibe. You want your strongest material at ground level. And you know how you can tell if a castle-like building what is it actually a real castle or if it was just built as a palace instead? You know what the dead giveaway is? If it has windows on the ground floor or the floor above that, then it was either retrofitted or it was just built as a palace because no self-respecting castle would give invaders a way to get in that easily on the ground floor. Or even within reach, uh, easy reach of ladders. This here, I think we're gonna use a quarter wall to fill in this little, this little bit of jank. And then I've just got a nice door frame. Okay, and over here, get this framed in as well. Those are going to need the orders. Okay. 
bit of jank, but not the end of the world. We don't mind a bit of jank around here, do we? I've had a few people say that my builds look really unique and detailed. And I'm, I think to myself, you know, that's a really nice way of saying that they're janky. <laughs> That is what sets my building style apart, is I am willing to tolerate some level of jank. And that is also why Aaron Longstaff has never actually built with me before. I've decorated his builds, but I have never built alongside him because I have a feeling my building style would, he would break out in a rash. Okay, I don't mind. I like my building style. And I personally believe it to be more realistic anyway. Thousand year old castles have nothing if not character. A little bit of jank here and there gives it character. Let's put a window wall here since this is going to be kind of more interior. I actually, can a person actually fit through here? Yes. Okay. I, th I thought there were some quarters with the, our, our medieval, or, but I, so far I've not found them. And I made all of the pieces, I think. This is weird music. I don't know what this is. Not my favorite. Okay. Glass roof, square glass roof. There's roof pieces. I don't see any quarters. So I guess we are using either ASR or Klinger in this spot. Let's see, does this have a quarter? I have a feeling he, uh, Klinger must have a quarter. He's got a half wall railing. This must have a quarter somewhere. He might not have gotten around to making it yet. I think he's just added the stone tier. Hmm. Okay, well, we will use ASR then. Could do it straight like that. How would that look with the window, though? Oh, it leaves a gap. Come on. You know where you're supposed to snap. You just cooperate and go over here and snap. Like a good little quarter. Come on now. There you go. Doesn't look too bad. That'll be kind of interesting. And then over here, we used my super special top secret way of making a circle. This is, it is basically like a 24 sided circle, but it's a slightly janky one. But the jankiness is in a pattern, so it's okay. At least in my opinion. Let's grab. We'll use some of the Klinger stone and some of the ASR stone 
quarters, I think, for the walls on this. And you know what? This. Don't need the gate frame just yet. There we go. Oi! Oh, cool! I will look. At I will take a look at those pictures. Um, no, I'll take a look at them right now because if I don't, then I will get distracted and forget because I can be very forgetful sometimes. All right, we will take a peek. And anybody who else who would like to look, just uh, my Discord is in the description. Just join my Discord, and I have a screenshots channel in the. Uh, did you post it on Aaron's Discord or on mine, or where did you post it? Because it's not in the screenshots screenshots channel in my Discord. People asking the same question all the time and not searching the FAQ. How to change wild dino level. There. There you go, bud. Okie doke. I think this will be good. So, because of the fact that we have triangles mesh through each other here, it actually ends up making a really interesting pattern. So, if you, I have made this before on a few different streams. I keep meaning to make a tutorial on this, but have not gotten around to it just yet. Eventually, I will get around to it. Probably. Hopefully. Maybe. I always have more ideas than time. There is no secret doorway there. I do want a secret wall. So let's grab a door. Oh wait, did did Gimmelcad put the secret wall on here? No, yeah, it is still a variant of the door. So yes, if you are looking for the stone reinforced, um, if you are looking for any of the secret doors in ASR, they are not a variant of the wall, they are a variant of the door. Since they are, after all, a door. A secret door. And let's do the intermediary ones out of this stone. Put it in Discord in screenshot. Let me. Take another peek, see if I can. Um, not seeing it in my Discord. Put it on Aaron's Discord. Your builds. It just, it might not have updated yet or something on my side. I don't know. But yeah, the last thing I can see is Alex Terrence asking about the brazier. There, the... Must have taken a screenshot from one of my videos and he wanted to know what I used. Okay, now... What this basic, I'm going to show you the gist of the pattern that these walls make like this because of the triangles in there is it's kind of like a Celtic knot or something. It's actually, I think it's kind of cool. See, it ends up being like, like this. 
And so in order to make any kind of a doorway usable, you need something special. You need either an arch so so that the so that the door will only be blocked basically so that you have a half a doorway that's only supported on one side or you need a, a triangle a triangle works to a sloped wall that you can turn upside down or if you don't need a door or a window in one of those spots that would be double layered then well you're fine just do whatever you want. Okay. I think all. Let's see which. So many choices. So many choices. Spoiled for choice. Let's try this one. We can do some fancier ones higher up, probably. But I think the colors of this one will work. But first of all, we need something for it to hang from so that it can be upside down. So I'll start with a regular wall and then I'll replace it with that. Usually that's easier because you, you can't just place a sloped wall upside down by itself. Doesn't seem like. I might need pillars also. We'll see. Maybe I can get away with not eating pillars. And there we go. Why are you doing this? Fine, we will give you a nice little cue of where you are supposed to snap. See, right like that. two different snap points. Uh, gotta love when it shows you in ASA how many snap points are available. 32 right now. So we sit here and click and try not to click too fast. There, right there. Okay, and the other one over on this side. She has them direction specific. This is a left inverted wall. Let's actually look for a right inverted wall then. What do you know? That simplifies things a bit. Okay, now will those stay without me having pillars? Yes. Okay, good. And then we will fill in. Woo! A secret door opening on me unexpectedly. Let's uh, add some of these little guys. To fill it in the rest of the way, but I like the way that using a sloped wall gives it kind of an arch in there. Although, you know what? I just now remembered, just this very, very second, that Clinger actually has arches. Screw the... Uh, sloped walls, we've got actual real-life arches that we can use. So why on earth wouldn't we use those? Okay. Yeah. There's, I don't, there's no arches yet in the stone, but yeah, we'll use wood arches. As we can.
They are beautiful. Are there any solid arches, though? No, I think, yeah. There's, there's this beautiful lacy one. Okay. I think I'll actually make it a little higher as well. Okay, Mimic, have a good dinner. Let's put a window here. Nice. And yes, I know that means it doesn't qualify as a genuine castle, but that's okay. This sounds like the music from like an old Western movie. Let's do a solid, solid wall here. Actually, no, that's fine. I'll do it. I want to use the yellow. I think I'll just continue with the same material. Okay, let's pick a different more fun pattern and then let's pop down some quarter ceilings. Well, we'll have to put down a quarter wall first so we have something to put the quarter ceiling on. Come along now. Oh, there. Right there. That's right. Okay, now let's grab pillars. We have so many choices. We are spoiled for choice. Grab some ASR stones. So we have even more choices. Let's do let's do this one. Oh, there are different options for this. What do we have? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, there's a short pillar. And a pillar beam. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And my music quit again. Play that whole playlist. Okay, fine then. Let's switch to. Let's switch to some nice, some nice smooth jazz. I don't know why, but I find jazz to be quite soothing. Like if I have a headache. Jazz is the music I listen to because it, rather than making it worse, it soothes the headache. Okay, there's our yellowstone pillar. Maybe let's try this it's a different one. Just because we can't. Oh wait, actually no, we don't want it that height. Actually, we need it to be the height of the half walls there so that it will support our arches like a, that. We need a half wall to make that work. Getting into complex building here. I was going to do something simple and I can't help myself. It is an addiction, what can I say? Mm 
Come on, you silly thing. Right there. All right, now those are intersecting the ground, so they should have support. And for some reason, the the pickup um, outline is gone from the gun. And so I want to be very careful to pick up the correct thing. Fine, whatever. Pick that up and then I'll... Or I can start over again. <laughs> We'll do it better this time. So it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Choices, choices. This gate frame, how wide is it? It is too wide. So we could put one here. Cool. another layer of we'll alternate these guys with windows I think I'm gonna take a break from that guy that's being so annoying there come back to it in a minute Better. All right, we'll do some small windows on this level. Are there any like arrow slit windows? These oval windows are kind of cool. Oh, that's one by two. Might use some of those then in certain places. That's pretty cool. Me like it. And some of these round windows. Right here. Uh, this is still broken from the last uh, the last patch. Here, let me make a note really quick because I know Nanea will want to fix that as soon as possible. Which piece this is? This is the medieval window wall round big. None of the other variants either. Oh well. We use the other one. Let's 
something different there, I think. We put above this one. Could do some of the. Well, this is going to be looking out straight at a gazebo, so it might be better off being solid. Yeah, let's just do solid. That's cool that they'll mesh through each other like that. I love what you can do sometimes with the quarter walls and quarter ceilings in terms of making things mesh through themselves. Okay, and then I think I want a triangle roof here. And some sloped walls. Let's do something purdy. Like so. And some sloped walls, like these guys. Uh, uh. Okay, just cycle through the variants. Okay, that's how these work. works works quite nicely all right then let's grab some of these pillars i'm going to need those as well to tie together the different textures let's see how these pillars look oh this had the soap in it Much better. All right, so we'll definitely want to be adding some of those pillars then, and I'll probably want to add more detail to the walls as well. But I do really like those pillars once they're painted. Get another paint gun. Let's see about possibly painting the RR plaster so that it also coordinates better. Is there a double tall stone? That's wood, that's window wall. Oh wait, it was, there's the stone. Okay, we'll just use the stone. Then I won't have to paint plaster that doesn't match. different variants there there's one that's flat on the bottom i like that better that does not look like stone though that looks like wood i suppose that's okay there's another option no i don't i like the flat bottom better there's a double 
except that it's not actually oh th these got screwed up these got scrambled in the last bug Write that one down too. <laughs> I wouldn't be at all surprised if, I mean, as long as she's home from the hospital, I know that she was sick. Um, Nenea is usually really on top of it, though. I wouldn't be at all surprised if she didn't have a fix out by like weekend or something or very very soon so anybody watching this later definitely do not take do not be discouraged from trying this mod Dang it, it was it looked like it was flat at the bottom and and it turned are there any options that are flat on the bottom because yeah this has gotten scrambled they're all very similar and I'm not seeing any that are actually flat. Oh, that one. There, that one's flat on the bottom. All right, we will do that one. Okay, let's grab those pillars and get those spread around where we want them. <clears throat> Pillars. Hmm. Maybe tr add in another pillar variant. You have angled pillars too. That's right. And um, we have different uh, thicknesses. Ooh, the, it's like a thick block pillar. It's kind of rounded. That's kind of cool. Give that one. So 
Add some more detail to the walls here. Yeah, there's no dot, there's no um, horizontal version of that particular pillar, but there is of that one that I can then paint. Okay. Now the fun part. Let's go around and pop some glass in our windows. Uh, the windows in this mod are so pretty. Um, well, the stained glass anyway. They're well, all of them are pretty. They're all nice, but I especially like the stained glass. And there's so many different va variations of stained glass windows as well for these round windows. Ugh. Just gorgeous. Such a cool design, but I want windows you can see through. little start on it anyway let's go around i almost kind of like the yellow when there's just a little bit of it like that not too bad hmm. 
What do you think? Should I paint all of the yellow pillars <clears throat> this darker color? Or should we keep them as they are? It would look like this. I think it's better like that or like that. Is that? It might be that the darker color gives enough of a contrast. Don't want to have too, too many colors of stone that are not in the same color family or it can end up looking chaotic. So yeah, I think, I think we got to paint them. Oops. They did not want to put that. I might even experiment and find a color to make the wood blend in a little bit better and go around and paint the wood as well so that it's it'd be nice if the wood was either gray in the same family of gray or if it was like a dark chocolate brown like this so that it would coordinate that's really one of the main secrets I use for mixing things from different mods is try to keep the color choices um, somewhat restrained you know pops of color of rainbow that's that's one thing but you want to you don't want to use too many different base colors different textures yes but you don't want one material it's a completely different color from the others where's that stone gate there we go better i still might go around and paint all of uh, these a light gray so that um, it'll more, it'll kind of go along a little bit better. Although, 
Although that stone, that creamy colored stone actually coordinates pretty well with the Klinger wood. I think it's mostly just the golden yellowish trim on these stone walls that is throwing me off. But yeah, we'll have to work on that another time, I think. But we we got a lot done. We looked at a lot of really cool mods. Which one was your favorite? Are there any that you are that you have on your server or your single player or that you think you might add? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know. And if you watch this all the way to the end, Leave a Chinese dragon emoji in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I will be back on Friday. The plan is to start at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, 2 p.m. my time, which is 5 p.m. Um, 5 p.m. Eastern time. If I can math. 5 p.m. Eastern time. We will be back. I don't know yet for sure what we will be doing. We might be doing another arc building stream. Or we might, if arc is not behaving once again, the arc was great today. I mean, I, I can't believe I streamed all this time and not a single crash. It's kind of shocking. It also might be um, partially due to, you know, being on this simple flat map that has so very little for the game to actually do. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll be back on Enshrouded. Maybe we will play some Seven Days to Die. If you have a preference of what you would like to see, let me know in the comments. I can't always do what is requested. It, a lot of it depends on technical issues, but I do do my best to try to provide you with the kind of content that you would like to see. So, all right. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye-bye for now.